Do it? Are we there? We're <laughs> late as fuck, but we made it, guys! Don't worry, it won't matter. Fashionably late. Okay. Fashionably it's theater, late. baby! Yeah. We just held house. <laughs> nice. Yeah. This is gonna so be great. So the Guffman could find his chair. Um, <laughs> it's great because we get to sit back and relax. We're not the hosts tonight. So basically, Very we're genu genuinely handing off our hosting duties to the wonderful Emily Clark, who you will know from so many <gasps> wonderful things, such as Stealing Focus, <laughs> as well as the co-host of a show called Dear Friends, which I'm sure none of you have heard of because, you know, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, Emily, it's all in your hands. Introduce <laughs> everyone. Dear Go ahead. <clears throat> Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Emily Clark here, and I am here to host the Musicals with Cheese Trivia Contest to celebrate their 150th episode, which is pretty freaking great. I'm so happy that I'm back. Last year, oh, I was lucky enough to host the... Uh, <laughs> I was lucky enough to host the 100th episode trivia contest, and that was a lot of fun, and so we're stepping things up this year. Uh, we have uh, four different contestants for our um, trivia night um, and I hope you all are playing along um, I'm Jess I just want to confirm or not confirm did people shout stuff out in the chat um I can't see it and as long as Andrew and Brent are playing like kindly um, I don't mind it I'm, I'm not looking no okay okay I just wanted no to cheese. say that Okay, so you can play at home if you want, but we want to make sure that we don't let any of the folks know what the answers might be. Um, so one of the cool things about this is, let's see, last year I had about 25 questions for you guys, and they were all on um, each question related to a different musical. And this year, uh, because you have all done 150 episodes, I have no repeats. So this is a whole new batch of shows and a whole new batch of questions. <laughs> And it's, only been, and it's only been since Breeze joined the show, so she should she is a hundred percent at least listened to every episode. Okay, I know yes. two things, and it is um, fine dining and editing that podcast. <laughs> so, so we're getting a lot of waitress our questions. first team is uh, Team Breasts, which is Bree and Jess. Okay, go Team Breasts, Breasts. <laughs> Okay, and then we have Team Brandrew, which is Brent and Andrew. Oh my God! So this we we it's cage match, baby. We're we're pulling no punches. Ooh. We're going hard All here. All right, brother. <laughs> this Dad is musical team. theater Ooh, trivia, yeah. baby. I'm Girl. gonna take a quick pause. So, I'll be right back. Hold on. What? Already? Already? <laughs> He's so nervous. He's so Are you scared, brother. <laughs> He's so nervous. He has to puke. I'm telling you. Oh, but I can hear you, Jess. Oh, well, we can... <laughs> He's talking Sorry, someone... about. <laughs> Sorry, I noticed a, a See, change when he started looking at the chat. So I was like, maybe we can't do that on the computer. Okay, we've got too much going on. See, this is life, baby. This is the life of the multitask or the multi-hyphenate. You have to be on camera, and yet on the other. You know, on the other side, you're like, you make yep. this so um, Liz, cut that out. <laughs> so um, this is going to be fun. So I believe the way this is going to work is I've, I'm just going to kind of go around the circle and I'm going to ask questions. And um, uh, I, I, I believe that if one of you and your team doesn't know the answer, you can confer with your partner. Right. For half point. Just confirm. For, for half point. So. If Brie, half or, Brie doesn't know the answer, she can ask me for half point. And if Andrew doesn't know the and answer, vice versa. Yep, and that is true reverse Fantastic. ways. If like Brent doesn't listen to the show, or if Andrew doesn't pay attention to the show, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna lose my half. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great, everybody. So, um, I am. Should I keep score, or is yes. someone else keeping you, score? Keep score, please, Emily. All right. I'm gonna keep score. I'm gonna the be the score score. As I've already well. decided who's won, honestly. What? Okay, good. As Who, who's winning? So, Andrew and Brent. <laughs> um, okay. Frank, who, who does the audience think is gonna win? Oh, let's see. <laughs> Andrew, don't wait okay, like that. Okay, I've got my little order. Okay. Wait, hold on. So, <laughs> yeah, get cracked open, get comfy, get what you need. I've got oh, my stuff. show brought to you by White Claw. Actually, no, no. My ice. wrong answer is brought to Patriotism. you by White Claw. White Claw. <laughs> There's no laws when you got the claw. 
That's right. Okay. You're good. I should have got this instead of. <laughs> they fuck you up though, real fast. Do they? Oh man. So we hope you're, uh, you know, having a good time with us. You can drink every time I get a little too shrill. I suppose you can drink every time. Drink every time we get a correct um, answer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I get a correct answer. <laughs> okay, so are y'all ready to get started? You ready to play this trivia game? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Cage match. Okay, so. We're going down. Snap into a slim gym. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, easy, boys, easy. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to pull up my questions right here. Okay. <clears throat> all right, I'm going to start with... Uh, Jess, because um, he is under enough pressure, and I feel like he's the perfect one to start with. So, Jess, are you ready for your question? I am. Suck it to All right. me. All right, I'll stop it to you. All right, so our first question. In the musical Oliver, during the song, I'd do anything, what is the Artful Dodger's response to Nancy's question, even fight my bill? What, fisticuffs? <laughs> Fuck. Yes, I would have gotten that one. That is correct. <laughs> what? What? Drink. Fisty cuffs. What you fisty can answer cuffs? all the questions. <laughs> I love that. That is one of my favorite lyrics. I just love to all just out of nowhere. What? Fisty cuffs. Best, best ever. Well done, Jess. All right, so Team Breast has a point. We are, or Jess we're has winning. a point. Yes. You're doing it. <laughs> I don't know okay, anything about so, music theater. <laughs> This is going to be great. <laughs> okay, so our next question, um, I am going to have our next question go to Andrew. All right. Okay, so Andrew. Oh, boy. <laughs> what is the name of Catherine's son in Pippin? Oh, Fuck. no. Pippin. The musical Pippin. Pippin. There's a little boy. Uh... I remember. Uh -huh. they, gave, they gave the boy a name. He does have a name. He does have a name. It's a very Wait. long name. His name is, how did you write Godspell, but also this. It's, I know it's a strange name. But, uh... Do you want to try, Andrew, or pass off to, or get help from your partner for half points? Um... You could, you could try... I mean, do I lose anything if I don't know and he also doesn't know? You just, I think you just get no points. Yes. Okay. There's no, like, negative points situation. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest. It would be a total guess if I went for it. So I'm going to say, let's go for the half points and see if Brent knows it. I'm sorry. I <laughs> only <laughs> like good musicals. Um, oh! oh, yeah. um, oh I, I had that opinion when I did the episode, too, and everyone would jump down my throat. No. This is a Bob no. Fosse musical, right? I got to yes, find my Fosse corner okay. of this question. Um, okay. I mean... <laughs> Dude, like, God, I love that one that one song about living life the old lady sings, but... Oh, yeah. Like, it, I think we just have to... First off, what if it's... Andrew, there's no way it's a trick question, right? I haven't seen Pippin in a minute. It's not a trick question. Okay, because the answer... Is, I was like, what if it's Pippin? Oh, yeah. No, it's not Pippin. Um, no. I don't know. My first thought is Philip, and it's just right out of my ass. That's all I got, dude, and it's probably wrong. Yeah. The name of the child is Theo. Boo. I would have never got that. <laughs> yeah, same. Not in a million guesses. <laughs> Going All down. Right, so... <laughs> um, okay, so know. we are still... Hold on, I just want to write. Okay, so we're still just at one point for Team Bress. And start, no points <laughs> for Team Brandrew. Humbling. Humbling. Okay, we, we so should have had better better names. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Brandrew, Brandrew, and Brass. Okay, sorry, I'm just updating my little <laughs> little notes here. Okay, Brother, all right. So about? our next question goes to Bree. We're going oh back God. to God, Team Brass. Got this. I believe in you. All right, here we go, Bree. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Bree. Um, which lyric in one? Let her hear it. Which <laughs> lyric? In one of the cabinet battles from Hamilton, is a direct homage to Biggie Smalls's "Juicy." Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Might have to be of a certain age to know this. 
No, I know I, the song. In one of the cabinet battles, the, there's a ton of que there's a ton of um, homages, let's say, no, to I, yeah, old school hip hop, <laughs> and there's one specifically that references Biggie Smalls's. Okay, I've seen Hamilton all of one time. <laughs> That's enough times. You can Ooh. get. You can see if Jess can help you out. I am going to do that. Do you know? Yes. And it's the first cabinet battle or the second one? I just said in one of them. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice try. I, Use your brain power. Oh, fuck, I don't, I don't even like Hamilton that much. <laughs> so, Emily, if, if, they can't, if they get it wrong, can we just, for zero points, if we think we know it, just guess for, for the sake points. of... Uh, I think I'm going okay. to offer a guess <laughs> first. Do it. Guess. Guess. Um, I think I'm going to go with the King Louis headline. That's the My Brother, My Brother, and Me reference. Oh, um, shit. That's some kind of reference. There's a lot of references. The problem is Rats. Jess doesn't know Biggie Smalls. You, you yeah. got it. You got it. I know Biggie Drink Smalls. for losing. Okay, we're, we're the winners in our hearts. 100% knows this. Well, even if you don't really know it, it's kind of a very famous, like, kind of in, in pop culture quote. Even if you don't directly kind of know what it is, you'll know it as soon as I say it. Wait, do I? Am I guessing, or are they? I think Brent. 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 Is Brent. it? Is it? If you don't know, now you know. Mr. President. Great. If you don't know, now you know. No. I'm glad to have. I'm glad to have known the two questions Bress got so far. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> what fisticuffs? What fisticuffs? <laughs> I just, I, <laughs> okay. Miranda gave a face like, yeah, he's not going to get it. <laughs> like, before the kid even got past yeah. him. That was such a great question, though, Emily. Good it work. It's a great question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, my next question is for Brent. So, okay. <laughs> Brent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> team team Brandrew. All right, so Man of La Mancha was not originally conceived for a Broadway house and is one of the first American regional theater shows to make a New York transfer. Where did Man of La Mancha originate? Oh, I'm going to guess La Jolla, but I don't fucking... La Jolla? That's a really good guess, but it's not La Jolla. Any, mm -hmm. any, anyone else want to give a try? It's that type of venue, though. Um, is it Toronto? Because that would be my throwaway answer. Uh, Good Speed Opera House, Connecticut. Mm. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. makes sense. It's one of the first regional theater shows to make a Broadway transfer. Wow. Or musicals, that is. And that's why it's such a weird show. And, like, all everyone who created it, like, never really had a Broadway credit to their name ever mm -hmm. again. Because they were all just, like, local writers. It really so. was an impossible dream. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> All right, we're <laughs> rotating back around to Jess. And Jess, we have a lyric finish here. Okay, so finish the lyric from Matilda. My mom says I'm a miracle. One look at my face and it's plain to see. Ever since the... Dark chop, the umbilical cord. It's a clear, it's a clear, as a miracle as me. Something like that. That's, cl Dark that's close enough, I'll allow it. Which is the rhyme. Yes, 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 day yes, day. yes. Ever since the day, day Doc chopped the umbilical cord, it's been clear. Because I remember Brent no probably clear. brought up anger at that line in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't bug me. It's I think that's a fun line. The only person to get I think that's kind of right a clipper line. I can <laughs> no, honestly one... say I've never heard that li a lyric like that before in a musical. Tim mentioned yeah, no, that should one, do more that musicals. That one's good. Tim Minchin just does really lazy internals sometimes, but yeah. he's very good. Oh, sometimes that's kind of one. One of my things with Matilda is like there's almost too much. It's like Hamilton kind of like there's kind of too much information. Yeah, kind it's of being a barrage. Coming at you sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we are moving on like to what? Like seeing yourself. Drew. Okay, Team Brandrew. Andrew. <laughs> give it my so. best. I'll give it my best. <laughs> okay. Okay. You got this, Andrew. <laughs> what? What character dies in the musical Fame, and how? <laughs> fame? I oh, got no. nothing for you, Andrew. We're getting we're getting weird combinations of questions. I do not know, so you're on your own. Oh boy, Fame! There's is only like... one death in it, and it's kind of yeah. racist. Oh boy! Don't give him any hints. 
I he like won't to win. just give me a hint. Bring I don't remember tomorrow. Fame. I've never seen Fame. It's bad. Yeah, I'm I gonna live it. forever. I taught the oh, junior version, that's for sure. Fame. <laughs> junior. Wow. I'm trying to even remember all of the characters in that, and I don't think oh, I can. <laughs> the character <laughs> comes out during the curtain call, like Angel from Rent, and everyone's like, you yeah. are alive. People clap There's... at the end of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> My high school production they did. Oh, that's Josh Groban was the music teacher. It's the hottest profession in the world. Odd I... Josh Groban like the country stuff? Is he a country uh, stuff? I can't, I, I can't say I remember anything at all about Fame. <laughs> it's not a good musical. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched Brent Fame and... one time. I got nothing. I've and never Brent seen and... it. I... I literally know fame, I'm gonna live forever. That is yes. the extent <laughs> of what I know about fame. It's all good, y'all. It's okay, so it's Carmen Diaz. Yes. And she dies of a drug overdose. She's all a junkie and she went to Hollywood and More like Carmen and, Diaz. And, and, <laughs> and in the in the in the non-musical movie version, she goes and there's this famous scene where he she's like he's like taking pictures of her in her hotel room and she's like <laughs> It's, oh no. It's not funny, but it's kind of funny. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> it's not good, but it's... <laughs> it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a famous scene. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, Bree, it's Bree's turn. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. All right. Yeah, Jess, Jess might have to help you with this one. Okay, so why did Stephen Sondheim only write the lyrics for Gypsy when he also wanted to write both music and lyrics? I know this one, so you're okay. I, it glitched out. Uh, he only wrote the music? I, I'll say it again. Yeah, I'll say it again. Why, no worries. Okay, so why did Stephen Sondheim only write the lyrics for Gypsy when he also wanted to write both music and lyrics? <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure I know this one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Brent knows this one. That's because somebody else I have a pretty good guess. <laughs> I mean, no, it of course is because someone else wrote the music. <laughs> <laughs> Please, because there yes, is that's... no music. It's a trick question. Jess, do you know? <laughs> I do. Um, Why did he only write the lyrics? Um, because after West Side, he really kind of wanted to like get away from it, but then he got this opportunity, and he's like, I really don't want to just be known as a lyricist. And then Oscar Hammerstein's like, you can write, write for a big star like Ethel Merman, you better do that, you, you son of a bitch! That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, very, that's actually very close, so I'll allow it. What? It's, it's, it's that, but... Well, let me give you the setup. He was originally going to do music and lyrics, and then yes. Ethel Merman was like, this guy's never written music before. No, give me Julie Stein. And then Sondheim was like, I don't know. So that was the setup for uh, it. And Sondheim was like, I don't know if I want to do this then. And then exactly, Oscar Hammerstein was like, you're an idiot. Write, write us musical for Ethel Merman. I, I didn't know he was originally like, supposed to. I thought they no. were like courting him. And then she said, no, Jules Stein. I didn't know he had already started or was already hired. He was already get. He was already like in there. And then she was like, she pulled her Ethel clout and was like, no. no. Hey, he's responsible <laughs> for Rose's term, which means he basically wrote the musical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's the mastermind of that song? Cheers. We, won. <laughs> we did it. Cheers. Okay. Woo. All right. So uh, we're going to Brent. Okay, okay. So, Brent. Come on. Come on. Come on, Brent. The 72nd That's Annual to Tony Awards <laughs> aired the speech for best book category because they believed that Tina Fey would win for Mean Girls. But which show won best book instead? You do know this. The year Mean Girls came out, best book. Like, I don't know what the Andrew year I was like, that was, uh, it was 2018, 2018. It was the year Josh Groban and Sarah Bareilles hosted, I think. Oh, Andrew, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to guess, but I'm, I'm, um, I, I would, if you have a thought, I would welcome it. If you're, we brought it up in the episode, it. Andrew. Ah. Uh, yeah, I have a thought, but I don't think I'm confident enough that I would go over your guess. Andrew, go go over his guess. I think you will get it. I have confidence in Andrew. I, uh, I don't know about that. It's a mine is a, is a something of a shot in the dark. So if this is a thing that might be lodged in your brain, Andrew, you take it. 
Oh, I don't. I'm gonna be wrong though, and then I'm gonna feel like a dummy. <laughs> okay, so it's the tw let's think about it for a second. The wait, 2018 wait, wait. Tony no, wait Awards. A wait a minute. Can we confer? Like, can we like talk yes. it through without making an official guess? So what I was gonna say out of my ass was come from away, which might be an older or a newer show. But Green like, I don't know. I uh. Is it bad that that was like mine also? <laughs> Real, was it really? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's try it, and we'll be wrong together. Yep. Here we go. Last call. Come from away. Can I? What can Jess? I offer that Bree can answer this one for our team? <laughs> yeah, sure. sure. Go ahead. Okay, so you don't um, get any points. Though. You're you're actually <laughs> really close with come for, from away, but it's not come from away. It's it's go to away. Fuck. Okay, I was so it's close. It's got a similar. Bree, do you know the band's visit? The band's visit. I Ooh. love this soundtrack, and that's why I knew that. <laughs> it's another, like, uh, what, like, airport stranded musical or yeah. <laughs> something like that? Um, mm. Okay. So, moving on. Okay, so we did Mean Girls. All right, so we are circling back to Jess. Okay. It's a hard one. Are you ready, Jess? I'm always ready. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Name the five countries and musical styles pastiched by Sondheim in Please Hello from Pacific Overtures. Ooh, good luck. Okay. Please just get one wrong for me, please. Just get, get one it wrong. wrong. Get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even ask me. I don't know. I know. Um, the obvious five one. Countries. I don't need even need the musical styles. I'll allow the countries that are represented. Um, yeah, I was about to say musical styles I wasn't going to get. I was just going to be able to get the countries. That's fine. Okay, we got America with the cakewalk, which is kind of what it builds to. Um, we have Britain, and that's just kind of like the little stomp bunching around and all that. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure China was involved, but I might be wrong there. Um, and what other fucking colonizing countries were there? <laughs> Um, am I right so far? Please cr tell me I'm if I'm wrong. You've gotten two of you've gotten two of them right. Okay. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah. He has to commit to China, doesn't he? Yeah, he I have to commit to China. China. I've gotten it wrong at this point. You've gotten it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just cut me off. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Germany and the Netherlands. <laughs> mm -hmm. Close. Okay, so it's um, it is uh USA with a Sousa like march. Yep. Uh. Uh, the, the UK with the Gilbert and Sullivan powder, mm. Holland with oh. the clog dancing, Russia with uh, the dirge, and France I wouldn't have gotten with Russia, the Russia Andrew. Candy. It's the tongue, the tongue, the Yeah. Man, I remember okay. next to nothing about Pacific <laughs> Overtures except someone in a tree, which I listen to like once a day. <laughs> Please hello is one of those. Uh, I feel like Please Hello is like a little microcosm of what he would do later in um, Assassins. Yeah. Like he's so good at pastiching musical styles. I love Please Hello. It's like, and it's just everyone in it is so funny. I don't know. So Pacific I just, Overtures is hard to revisit for me uh, in a way of hard. like a lot of other song times aren't. It's just so much cultural like relevance and happening at once. I, it's hard for me to revisit, but Someone in a Tree somehow still makes me cry every time I listen to it. I think that shows yeah, like somebody who decoupaged an entire room. It's like, wow, this is really well done and so intricate and I never need to come here again. Yeah, um, I can only do like <laughs> certain songs from it. Like when I re-listen and Please Hello is one of them, mostly just because I like hearing the different styles. Yeah. But like, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, Ooh, in that. But yeah, Someone in a Tree is also one I can, Chrysanthemum Tea is another one. All those mm -hmm. like character ones. Chrysanthemum so Tea feels like a song from Sweeney Todd in, in and of itself. Like And just M Mako, Mako doing his thing. Like he's so great. Uncle Iroh okay, himself. So, Uncle Iroh, baby. Um, okay, so we are to Andrew. Okay. All right, this is from an episode I was on. So hopefully this is- Andrew, are you paying story. attention? Did you take your notes? I don't take notes. You it was a this. while back, though. So, all right. So, <laughs> Andrew how notes. old? <laughs> yeah, how old was Albert Finney when he portrayed Ebenezer Scrooge in Scrooge? French should know this. Ooh, I mean, it's an exact. If you age, give me a ball, a... if you give me a ballpark, I'll be fine. I can I can help you with a ballpark, Andrew. You can help me with a ballpark. If you if you 
don't feel good about a ballpark. Oh, boy. I mean... I feel like... Mm. Nut up, Andrew. Come on. Yeah. Brent, give me... <laughs> give me some. Give me a hint here. 30. Give me a hint. What do you got? Thirty. Sorry, that was not a hint. I, yeah, I mean, I <laughs> knew he was younger, but I didn't want to undershoot. Thirty's pretty is young, that, though. So is guess. that your final answer? Well, we'll what's the with... what's the radius of like give or take two, give or take three, in any direction, give or take one? I think give or take five is fair. I s I'll allow it if it's like in five ballpark five or in the right decade. Wouldn't she be so, telling us she was? We were right if thirty was correct. No, she wouldn't. I know Emily well enough to know that she wouldn't. She so, you, you so still. Emily, let me be clear, Emily. You're double checking before we make our guess that could be right. It could be. Oh, no. <laughs> the point is, Andrew. He was surprisingly. He was surprisingly oh, young. young. I do remember that. Surprisingly young to play. Part. Surprisingly young to play Scrooge. Yeah, I don't think I he was, was over say forty. I was going to say something more like forty, but you're saying thirty. In... Say 30. How about this? How about you. this? If if it's a five, Jess suggested a five year thing. If we go thirty five, we get thirty to forty. I don't think he was twenty nine, but I don't think Maybe. he was over forty because he still had to be old enough or young enough to do Big Fish in the early two thousands. They do. So, so <laughs> deliberate or debilitate? I don't give a shit. Because if we lose, we are debilitating. We, we that's true. Fun. We literally are debilitating. Um, Andrew, you want to go with thirty-five? I'm fine with thirty-five. We're going with it. Okay. Lock it in. I will allow it because he was thirty-four. Well hey! done. Hey! Very nice. He was. He was uh, definitely too young to be playing Scrooge, um, but he was so good that you know. Yeah, you it. bought it. If I if I had said it. forty, would that have been wrong? Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's a big there's a big difference between thirty and forty. Thank you very much. Thank you very musical. much. That scene. I don't okay. know if I love that musical, but that scene is one of the best Christmas scenes I've ever seen. So good. So good. It has it has a big it has a big nostalgia hole. And one of the best surprise funerals that's ever been on the American stage. It's incredible. So, um, Thank you very much. Just basically consider yourself, and I want to match yes, them up. Yes. Them but consider yourself song. isn't um, about a funeral, so. Oh no! I mean, in in the way they're written. Yes. Yeah, they <laughs> are very like similar. Make them laugh and be a clown is kind of the yeah. same song, you Swingy know. Like, yeah. show tunes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we are going back to uh, it is uh, to Bree now. Okay, Bree. <laughs> All right, so Bree. Who played the original Trevor Graydon in Thoroughly Modern Miller? <laughs> I know. You're getting all the ones I know. Switch them around. <laughs> I'm doing them in order. Yeah, I'm doing them in the order Graydon I wrote them down. In the original. In the, in the original Thoroughly Modern Miller. Oh, God. I'm going to phone it in. Giving you a ring. Oh, I know it's like some sexy white boy. Fuck me. God damn it. Oh, we hate sexy white boys. I do. I do. That's why I, 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 I resign I, myself I to reserve, never being one. So I want um, to reserve, He's one of the few Broadway baritones. I want to reserve a no points guess, please. <laughs> we'll wait till there. Yes, we'll do that next. Um, um, I bet you his name was something Chris. No, he has a very distinctive voice. I know he's he one of those Broadway distinct... actors. Oh, fuck. I'm thinking of when you hear him, you're like, yeah, that's that guy. I know. Like, uh, my brain is thinking of the incorrect answer, and I know I brought it up in the episode. Um, but he's just—he's uh, not a presence in that musical. Let's just say that. So, the, early modern Millie. That's the one with the racist, like Asian representation. I, yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh. Um, Guy has presence. What do you do? We have a guest on that episode. No. Oh, uh, yeah, Shay Frills. Okay. I feel like we're off kilter. Like yeah. I, I know we're looking at the frame. Like, you gotta go that way. Do I have to go that way? I, f I feel like Someone's that made it worse. Okay. Over here. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> this was gonna be an easy one. Jesus. Um, okay. He's a sexy white guy. His name is... He is pretty sexy. I want to say Derek Klenna, but I know that's wrong, so I'm just gonna put that in and let Brent answer. Derek Klenna is younger than me. Derek now wait. Is not okay. Of a is hot this... white guy. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it is. Just to be clear, kind of sot. could yeah. you repeat okay. the question so I know whether it's Jimmy or the other boy in the show? Yeah. Who is the actor who played Trevor Graydon oh, in Thoroughly Modern Mel? Uh, who is Mark Cutish? 
Cahoots! Yes. Marcus. Jeopardy answer. I like Honestly, the Jeopardy answer. I just I want the, I just want the audience to know that I've known basically all of Justin Bree's questions. <laughs> Brent, I've known basically all of yours, so it all works out. That's why it's fun. Yeah, I love I love him. I I don't know if anyone calls him that in real life. I just have always called him the Coods, like an idiot. The Coods. I don't know. It's funny to me. <laughs> the Coods. I don't know. I love him. <laughs> Um, I think he's got a very distinctive it's voice. Spicy. It is, indeed. You sweating? All right. Am I? I'm fine. All right, so Brent, yes. I have no idea if you're going to know this. <laughs> Maybe you will. Well, okay. feisty cuffs. Well, feisty cuffs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what floral emoji does Smize self-medicate with in emoji land? Is it cool? Floral. These are one of the questions I had farmed out to one of the youngs. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was the question? It's about emoji land. I didn't I listen. What what floral emoji does Smize self medicate with in emoji land? Okay, so I've never known someone. I've never smoked a bowl of rose petals myself, but. It seems like it would be something that would be like weed, but I don't know what the weed emoji is. Andrew, do you feel like you There's have no specific... weed emoji? There's there no is weed no emoji. weed emoji. That's that's what I'm saying is like Damn you, Juliet. Can you can you self soothe, self medicate with the flower of the rose? There's the pink daisy, maybe a tulip. <sighs> They're pretty consistent about what Is there a poppy? Town. What flowers are there? I wonder. I'm guessing I don't get to like. You can confer if you do want. No, no, no. I'm guessing I don't get to look through emojis briefly, do I? Petals. I, I can't, I can't imagine, right? Like we, you gotta just. Well, I don't. Know. Okay, okay. I, don't I haven't care. looked at my phone. I thought about it, but I haven't looked at my like phone. Grass. Smoking I mean... grass. Okay, but grass isn't floral. Grass is like flora, yes. but not. It is a, it is a floral. It is a floral emoji. I mean, I mean, Andrew, she... do you do you know, just conferring, do you know any floral emojis that aren't, like... And I mean, here's the thing. I different mean... fucking, different platforms show them differently, but there's definitely yeah. a rose. There's definitely just, like, the flower. There's one that I use for hey, weed, hey, but hey, it's hey, not hey. weed. Why don't we introduce a function the old, right now? The old dry leaf. Where if there's something like this where just nobody knows, like, right now, and why don't we call it to the chat? Well, like, we, for, like... Well, well, Half a point, we can ask the chat if that's a choice that we want to do. No, no, I, I look. There's that, that's that's playing with a team of however many people are in the chat, which I'm not. Too on. many people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I think okay. that the I chat's mean, already Smize answering, and I'm not. Is happy, and I know she likes flowers, so I, I mean, it could be flowers. She, she's not happy. It that's could... the story. <laughs> what floral emoji? If the answer was flower, that would be the like. Well, she it's got to be a specific be one. So, like, if what it's if not it's a weed, mushroom? What if it's mushroom? That's not floral, and if it if, if that's mu <laughs> no mushrooms are mycol mushrooms are mycological and fungal. I promise you. Um, okay, what are we forgetting? There's rose. <laughs> there's probably a bouquet. The their mind. There's some kind of daisy or tulip yellow thing, and I mean like if there's a poppy, the thing is, Andrew, poppies make opium. I don't know. If there's, there's a no, poppy there's emoji. There's no poppy. There's no poppy. Man, like. <laughs> Okay, Andrew, do you have a better I, I'm leaning no, Poppy, I Andrew. So if you want I don't... to lean Poppy, I will I will back you on that to make you more confident. <laughs> I am going to, and I don't know if that counts as, as conferring, but whatever. I just want some kind of points. It's I'm gonna guess sure. Poppy. It is pink hibiscus. Oh. Bye, biscus. <laughs> Thanks, Excuse Juliet. You. Thanks, Juliet. I love you. That was hilarious. <laughs> Hibiscus. You sure it wasn't mushroom? Are we sure? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so fun. Okay, well done, everybody. Um, all right, so we're back to Jess. Oh, <laughs> Jess, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so actually, maybe you'll get this. Who are all the songwriters for Peter Pan? Oh. Oh. Have fun. <sighs> He can't remember I, I'll, that I'll many give, names. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. There are at least five. Oh, I what know they are. I, I've listed them. <laughs> I, don't I, don't know, them I don't know how we got all the. I don't know how we got all the the list them off questions, but there you go. 
Brent requested these questions. I mean, Brent, I'm curious. Would you be able to Can answer Can you name any of them? Would I? I thought Peter Pan was Rodgers and Hammerstein until, like, I was all the way through grad school. I you know the show to well. You went musical theater writing school. I know the sh- I know the score well, but I just assumed it was you know <laughs> not like five. high school there's musicals. Five. I know that there's two kind that are super like famous that rent all the wrote all saying. the good ones. There, there's a lot of there's some big names in the bunch. Oh, there I are. And I'm trying to remember those names. Um, Emily. Um, yeah. At a certain point, can you list another show that they composed? Not even like a famous show, just to give me the vibe. Wait a minute. I'm not even playing no! for points. I'm not even playing for points. I do just kind of want to get this at this point. You you, you have forfeited points. Not yet, but at a certain point, right I want to make that. Um, if you're, are, have you forfeit not points? Not yet. Give me like two more seconds. Okay. Uh, okay. There are big names. That, there are some very big names at the time. Yes, very they were. Very much of their era, obviously. Um, oh, they're they're like a cu- couple that are not couple. They're the people that do it all the time. And one of them I thought was a woman for a very long time, and it turns out wasn't a woman. And I'm trying to remember mm-hmm. what. Ooh, <laughs> I've got a guess for when for one of them, two of them. Well, one of them is a woman. Is it? No, it's not that. Nope. At least one of them is a woman. I know one of them anyway. I wouldn't get the whole the, thing. No. What? The woman who also did. We did a show. More than more than one of them is a woman. Oh, I'm really? There's glad multiple I women. <laughs> I think before Peter Pan, they had. She was a part of the same show because I remember reading. What was the other show? I don't remember. There were very few lady musical theater writers in that era, so go down that route. I'm trying. Like my brain wants to say Le- Leslie Brickus, but I know that's not the answer. No, never. Yes, forever. I know. That's that. You got it. Um, as soon as I hear it, I'm gonna like kick myself. So go ahead. I want to guess. Well, I want to well, guess. Does, can we name any of them? There's five of them at least, and that's you... not excluding other stuff. So can we get partial points? <laughs> yes. You want to throw a guess out, Bree? No, no. I'm talking partial points. If you guess a few, Fuck. I don't know shit. I guess Leslie Brickus, no, no, no. and I didn't the get other it. Te- the other I, team doesn't get points, but they but if they know, like I want to guess Friend, at least guess. Go. Compton and Green. Yes. 100% Compton and Green. Like yep. who was the only, like, only lady writing musicals at the time? Thank Compton you. And Green. <laughs> one, so what are the other <laughs> I three, knew, four? Yeah. You want the other three? Yes, please. Well, one of them we we already talked about, one Julie Stein. That was it. And mm-hmm. uh, Moose Charlop and Carolyn Lee. So, I love that Moose ladies. wrote Moose. some song for us. Moose, good old moose. Yeah, All I, right. I should have gotten that. Compton and Green were the big ones. I was like, I should get that. And I'm like, fuck me. God damn it. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm not a big into the older musicals, not going to lie. That's that's where I kind of have a big black mark. Hey, except for the really big ones. Never, never laugh. Peter Pan's pretty big Peter old Pan. musical. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I, I remember an entire segment bangers. of the episode is where I go into, like, there's so many composers and there's, like, the good ones and the bad ones. There's no bad ones in that bunch. Who was a bad one in that bunch? I do not like the songs not written by Comden and Green. Like what? I got a crow? That's not very yeah, good. Yeah. Like obviously. Julie Stein? You don't like a Julie Stein melody? I'm trying to remember. He wrote Gypsy. I didn't like it. I, I'm sorry. He wrote Never Neverland, pretty sure. I love that song. Hooks, Hooks songs are, except for Oh My Mysterious oh. Lady, are all bangers. Bangers, bangers. That's really where the Kenko Gnolls. Yes, and so yeah, 100%. Will be all Tender Shepherd, is that like eye. your favorite song? Tender Shepherd lo- is a wonderful, sweet song. It's a beautiful little lullaby. And I really just love the idea of an evil captain having a band of pirates that can just DJ him a beat whenever he's like, hmm, yeah. a waltz, hmm, uh, you know, electronic <laughs> dance music, hmm, <laughs> emo, you yeah. know, like. When I was on the Mickey boat visiting uh, visiting friends, Jonathan Freeman, who's the voice of Jafar, did did his cabaret, and then he did hooks, he did hooks song, who's the slime, me a slime, and Perfect. I was the only drunk asshole in the audience who was like, Captain Hook, Captain Hook. I, I think that song was. is actually the mirror image of Gaston. They're I very similar. They're both song. in three. Gaston oh, is so just good. the thing happening without the bad guy having to ask. Good villain songs. That yes. Show. All right. Here we go. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Andrew. 
Prince this, boy. this is a hard. This oh, is a hard sorry. one. But Brent might be able to help help you with this one. So, who from the original cast and production team of Camelot were also involved in the Broadway production of My Fair Lady? Name oh, Andrew, come four. on, we talked about this. At you least got this. four. Were, at least four. There's more. Oh, There's Lord. way more. They were trying to capture. They were trying to recapture can, lightning in a bottle. Can we, while can can we, like at least three are points, very obvious. Well, you, like when you say involved, does this include cast, production, choreographer? Cast production. I'm talking major production team, major cast. Oh, oh. The okay. names, the names you would see on the poster. Yes, actor and composers. There, go. go and we're talking out. Camelot least, and My Fair Lady. Because My Fair Lady was such a big freaking hit that when Camelot happened, they were like, we got to do this again. So they got a lot of the same people, people. involved. And there's more than four, but you got to name at least four. And Andrew, at least three have... of them are, four of them are all on the main poster. I have, okay. You mean their names, not mm -hmm. their images, their names. You could probably think of three right now. So Andrew, I've got some thoughts, but if you want to take this whole thing, I think we would only be able to get it right collaboratively. Um, oh, these are like the worst questions for me. Yeah, I do this. not remember names. A couple. Yeah, this um, is like who was the third baseman for the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1932 <laughs> kind of shit. Yeah, um, like I can't, right. I can't even name all the members of the Beatles. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you I have a thought can of help. Okay. Julie Andrews was in, if I'm not mistaken, Camelot and My Fair Lady. Now, yeah, I know the My Fair Lady. I can't re remember if they wrote into it. I think Camelot was a, a mediocre show that got big because of the Kennedys. Um, it kind of flopped. Yeah, it kind of exactly. killed the Golden Age music. And now I'm like, Richard Burton was involved, but was he in... I don't think Robert Goulet was in My Fair Lady, but Julie Andrews is one... So look, let's yeah. assume let's assume to fill out this group that it's the same writing team. I might be dead ass wrong, but that let's would be assume. Learner and that would be Learner and Low, I believe. Learner and Low for the for My Fair Lady. So Julie Andrews, Learner and Low. I hope I can use their last names like on Jeopardy. But I don't think Robert Goulet sang Get Me to the Church on Time. I don't think he was in My Fair Lady. I don't think Rex Harrison was in Camelot. God damn it. Um, look, Jerry Robbins choreographed fucking everything back in the day. <laughs> I don't know if it was him, but as a wild guess, I That's would say, guess. and by the way, if I win this, I'm, I don't care if I, I don't care if we win. If I get this question right, I don't give a shit if we win. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to float to you, Andrew, Julie okay. Andrews, Lerner and Lowe, Jerome Robbins. And I'm, sh I'm probably not right, but. I gave it my all. I think only one of those is I know is right, and it's the first one. So okay, <laughs> I have no okay. idea. On the rest you're of ready them. to commit for half a point. Uh, yeah, let's commit. All for right, it. let's Why see not? how let's see how many of those are right. One. You got three. Ah! I'm gonna give, but but you know what? I'm feeling generous, so I'm gonna give it to you because it's a hard yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Learner, it is indeed Learner and Low, and it is indeed Julie Andrews. The director for both was Moss Hart. Oh fuck. And yeah. also, the guy who played Pelinor was um, Pickering, and his name is uh, Robert Coot. They also just random stuff. They had the same MD and the, had the same orchestrators. Well, so they they had they really were trying to be like, let's try like to make this happen again. But Julie Andrews and Lerner on Law, one hundred percent. Yep, I'll allow it. I'll allow favorites. it for the half point. Yes! You got it, babies. Yeah. That was some good musical theater history. Cool. Well done, well done. Well done. I, I think that was very impressive. Okay. Okay, so we're back to Team Press. Are you ready, kiddos? Yeah. You ready, Bree? It's you. Yeah. Can't hear you guys. Are you guys there? Uh-oh. Can you I'm, hear us? On my Hello? screen, the word active went away. Hello? Hello? Oh, uh -oh. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, Let me double I don't check. Hear, I don't hear anything on the thing. Oh, good. Me? Hold on. Good. Are we on YouTube? They forfeited just because we're so fucking great. I'm checking if we're on YouTube right now. Um, I have to. If you can see us, then hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to we'll check. Get on... your drinks. I'm looking at a little drinky drink. YouTube's loading right now, and it's 
taking too long. Hello, but what is you on the YouTube screen on this 56K modem my laptop apparently has. Well, we're still visible. Hello. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. And, and Bree is there, but Jess is not. Mm -hmm. Can we, okay. Uh -oh. There you are. There you are. Okay. I just can you can't hear, hear you guys. Hello? You gonna... Oh, wait. Can I could hear them on the YouTube, but not in here now. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that maybe I can turn on the YouTube and just deal shit. with the delay. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> what? The show <laughs> must go on. I don't know what's going on, but we got some technical difficulties. Uh, I hope all of you have been enjoying these I'm questions. I'm getting texts that we're like getting They probably them. all know um, them. I hope you all have. I hope there's been some real, like, kind of musical theater history buffs, like, like me, um, nerding yeah. out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm turn. I'm putting on the YouTube right now. Um, I don't know if we should like. Can y'all hear us now? Yes, we can. Yeah, Yay, we're back. Oh no, I worries, did it. Darlings. I am the king. I whether or not I win this trivia night, I have won the technical difficulties of it all. Yeah, and you know what, folks? It, it wasn't so much. I'm glad that all of you can kind of hear them on on your end. It's just that we and our little streamy thing couldn't. So it's all good. We're all back. You know, we know how to improvise. We know how to go with the flow. Yes, yes. Liz, all cut right. that out. Oh yeah. All right, so we are back to team Chris. So three, it is all you. Um, let's see. Let me get my questions up. All right. So for a million dollars. Right? No way. Oh. Million dollars? Well, I'm going to fill up my duff as I'm doing this. Okay. Evening Primrose. <laughs> was what is that? To be a part of a television anthology series in the mid 1960s. What was the name of that series? I'm going to pass. Good luck. One, I'm going to pass this one over to my partner. Uh. Brian Scott Oliver showed me a bootleg of this back in the day when oh, we were like in he, high school. Evening isn't Primrose? he? Yeah, it was sometimes such like weird. That is a fun a, guy. Um, oh, we've been friends since childhood. Supplement you're supposed to take baby. for your hair and skin. Yes, you should. Yeah. So, evening, evening Primrose. Primrose was part of a TV anthology series that they were trying to do in the '60s. That kind of only lasted for a season, but uh, starred Anthony Perkins. What's her name? Lisa. Charmian Carr. Yeah, I remember the show. I know the show. Um, I remember bringing this up in the episode. Um, flew fucking right out of my head. I'm sure Brent's going to know it right away and be like, oh, you, you I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I my brain went straight to God bless you, Mr. Rosewater. No. And now that's all that's occupying the space, <laughs> which this is very much not that, but the word not rose. All, no. no, very different. My my brain just wants to say masterpiece theater, but I know it's not that. Um, Alfred Hitchcock presents. I know, because I'm like an Anthony Perkins brain, so I'm they like. Were, they were trying to do kind of the '50s anthology thing, like kind of like um, like Twilight Zone was in the '50s, but by the like kind of the mid '60s, they were like, ah, this isn't really happening, so it didn't really take off. Was but it they like tried a it for like a phrase, or was it like? Where like a wait a minute phrase or something? How many hints how many hints do we get before the points are forfeited? I'm sorry, I can't just like randomly talk until Emily gives you points out of pity. <laughs> well, I mean It's it's tied it's time it's uh it's tied to It's not a very clever title. It's 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 tied to kind of okay. the um T V at the time. Like, what were our TV options during the time Evening Primrose was written? Three channels. Channel 3 Theater. Oh, I like that. Channel 3 Theater. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, it is, um, it, it was called ABC Stage 67. Ah, would have never guessed, it was honestly. Yeah, I never guess that. It's a great Avenue. title. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you've ever seen I don't I don't know if I, I saw that episode. Did you guys just listen to the album or did you watch the version with Anthony Perkins? Oh, we watched it. I forced Andrew yeah, to watch it, it and he did not love it. I don't think I was on the you show. You were not on the show. I yet. was not on the show. I don't think I was I Yeah, was it's really for... interesting. It's it's very oh, of its hello time. Either. Hello either. It's again. Good. hello again, whatever one Oh hello is the John Mulaney. Yeah, that's a different thing. <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. We're on Bree, so now we're on Brent. Okay, okay, Brent. All right, okay, okay. Come on, Brent. Here we go. The role of the Tin Man was immortalized on screen in The Wizard of Oz by vaudevillian Jack Haley. However, Haley was a last-minute replacement through filming. 
So, who was originally cast as the Tin Man? Oh my God, this was 1939. Who even remembers 1939? I do. It's it's, it's actually a very famous factoid. Okay. Yes. Andrew, you should know this. We talked about it in the episode. like the original, the original I know guy that it happened. I don't remember the name. Andrew, is it like the original guy had an allergic reaction to yes. the Tin Man mm-hmm. makeup? That is absolutely it. And mm-hmm. like, I totally messed it. Fuck me and the goat ass. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it like really, me- it really <laughs> messed him up. Ass? Like it was pretty bad. He oh, died. that's an Adam Sandler reference from my youth yeah. that I oh. now say. Um, fuck me and the goat ass. Um, the goat okay, ass. so, um. I, I'm I'm officially conferring with Andrew if he has any thoughts, but if he doesn't, then I can lose oh. on my own. Um, Man, I too big a hint. <coughs> Wait a minute, what's too big a hint? Story. I know the story. I don't know the name. Yeah, I came up I with I came up with the whole like guy that I mean I I knew that he was replaced by some that he was a replacement. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just stop and think. <laughs> Let's do some algebra. The late 30s. So I don't think we're quite to like Fred Astaire, Gene Kelly. I don't think we're quite there. But I'm having a hard time thinking of musical theater human beings from the 30s. Think, Jesus, don't think musical theater. No, 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 no. Don't think musical think, theater. Think vaudevillians. Or I think mean, um, it's people not who Al, be on TV it's shows. Not, it's not Al Jolson. It's not the think Three sitcom. Stooges. There were no sitcoms in 1939. He would, but he would go on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. To do something. Do some kind of. Andrew, stuff. I'm gonna hit you with some names, and you tell me if they sound familiar for this thing. Art okay. Carney was technically he was on the Honeymooners. Right around, he would have been 40, so maybe he would have been old enough to play the Tin Man. Um, maybe he was in his 50s. I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. So sitcoms. It wasn't Desi Arnaz. Maybe it was somebody from Father Knows Best or the Donna Reed show, but I don't know those fuckers. Um, uh, it couldn't have been the Ralph Cramden guy. No offense, Ralph Cramden. I don't think they would have made you the Tin Man. Um, you're, yeah, I don't, I don't know that you would have passed. Um, okay, so, okay, fuck. Um, wasn't Fred from from I Love Lucy? <clears throat> Same problem. Um, okay. You got nothing, Andrew? Should I just like, <laughs> just just like, just lob? I mean, none of those like sounded familiar from when I've heard the story, but I don't remember. I'm terrible with names, <laughs> so it very well could have been that Me one. Me too, throughout. Andrew. I feel you. I'm gonna just guess Art Carney, but I don't know. Oh, I wish. Oh my <laughs> That's god! A good guess, but... It's Buddy Epson. <laughs> Come and listen to my story about a man named Jade, a poor mountaineer, barely kept his same fit. Oh! Buddy Epson. Buddy Epson. Well, uh, I just who was double... also uh, Holly Golightly's uh, husband, remember? Yes. Doc in Back- Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah, and, then bonus, right. yep. and then bonus points because actually Ray Bolger was originally cast as the Tin Man. But then he had wanted to play the Scarecrow I Brought this forever. up in the episode. Oh. Well, he and Buddy Epson swapped from Buddy Epson was like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll swap roles. That's even fine. I, and I, then he got the aluminum paint on warns. him. I just <laughs> checked, Epson. which I haven't done because you can see me checking, but Art Carney would have been 21, so he probably would have been too young anyway, but I just didn't know. That was, you know, that was a good guess, though. All right, everybody, great, great we are. Guess. I wish that Art Carney on. was the Tin Man. Um, now, here's a question, Emily. Do we know how many rounds we have left just so the drama can yeah. kind of mount? <laughs> how are we well, doing? Well, Jess told me to come up with uh, 30 questions, so we're about halfway through. 30 but we per? Don't... Or, th- like, not 120? No, 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 30, 30... total. 30, 30 total. And we're <laughs> like, at... Yeah, that's how many. We're, like, we just did... What are our points uh, we, just did ha- we just did number 16. Great. Okay. Uh, our points, let's see, uh, Team Breast is at 2.5. And Team Brandrew is at one. Fuck so they're me. still, but they, they have more than, they've got more, you know, 14 left. So they're still. Yeah, they're not that far ahead in the grand scheme, but. Exactly. We're failures. Exactly. Uh, that, and that assumes anyone's going to get a question right from this point on. <laughs> Hey, you never know. You never know. I tried to really scatter these around. So these are, by okay. the way, Emily. These, yeah. We're complaining a lot. These are wonderful questions. You're Thank doing you. a very. Good I'm just job. bad at trivia. Is the problem. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and okay. I'm just bad. I'm just better at the questions Jess gets. But anyway, okay, go go go. I mean, 
I know. It's, it's always the way it goes at trivia, right? Yes. Okay, sure. so, Jess, we are back to you. Okay, so. <clears throat> In A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, the Dice with family home is located in which English county that Mean ah. Maniri pointed out isn't actually all that close to London? Fucking Mina Maniri. God damn it, Juliet. This um, is definitely one I've heard about. dice with. Uh, I want to say like Cambridge because I know she goes That's to school what there. To my mind too. I'm gonna say Cambridge. Fuck it. Lincolnshire. Ah. Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire. How are they saying? <laughs> Lincolnshire. I miss England. And then she's like, he, she said, was very respectful explaining things, and I just went in one ear, out the other ear. Here, Breed, here's the audio. Figure it out. Sorry. Guys, okay. I, I have to share. I don't even know if you can read it, but what Brendan from hand? Brendan from Wait in the Wings just asked me if I wanted to hang out, and I'm like, nope, doing a different musical theater thing, you fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shot in a trivia death match. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him right. no, and so, then send him an angry face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I He'll get it, he'll get it, it's fine. Just us flipping off the yeah. camera. Okay. Just send him this. That, I can't that. see. Oh, I, we the, the thing is, in the, in, in the OBS it? chat, you just oh, I can no. see it on YouTube. You guys are flipping yeah, everyone you're off. Just, yeah. You're just a browser that says join room with camera <laughs> oh, or screen okay. share with room on the OBS. But don't no, change no, it, because... No. Because we don't, don't want to <laughs> upset the Oh my gosh, delicate... wait, wait, sorry. I'm only just looking at you guys on YouTube, and I'm obsessed with your table. What is that table? It's epoxy. What is with that like table? A bunch of... oh, hold on, hold on. Just I... made it. Yeah. I love it. Actually, I want it, it right uh, now. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with it. Can I, like, you know, hire your mom to make me one? Because that is so my vibe. Um, oh my god, Frank, look at that to, table. Cut to the close-up cam. I here. love that. Aww. That's so cute. Okay. I see Bright Star. I see Hello Dolly. I see Mean Girls. Ooh, oh, 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 I see nothing. Oh, wait. Okay. I see Legally Blonde. I see Fiddler. Oh, you, oh it's, yeah. London. I see France. <laughs> I see the color purple. I see cats. I see assassins. Wow, this is great. Yeah, she did. Wow, you're oh, you the fucking frogs? Come on. Of course. I hey. saw. I saw that goddamn production of the frogs with Ryan Scott Oliver before we went before he did uh, before he moved to New York. Was that the Nathan school. Lane? The Nathan Lane one. Yeah, we went and saw it. And okay. I remember I'm living a the frog. album. I I'm can a hop frog. around. Yeah. Oh my I God. like to hop. <laughs> that's my impression of Nathan Lane in the frogs. Andrew is convinced that's going to be his favorite musical ever. So. <laughs> Wait, that's my favorite. I'm just going to be like. Ah! Like it's hop. not easy being green. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus the thing is, that's God. not too okay. far off from his performance as Dionysus in The Frogs. I know. Oh, God. Yeah, but in, in what is it? Invocation, instructions, instructions, invocation. God, that's a song. Smile on us. I always knew that song from the original us. cast recording of Putting It Together with Rachel York. And, uh, oh, Julia. yeah. I knew it from Sondheim on Sondheim, which is my favorite Sondheim shit. review. My husband did, um, his big Broadway credit is doing 101 Dalmatians with Rachel York. But it wasn't Disney 101 Dalmatians. It was the original book that they made mm. into a musical. But Rachel York was Cruella de Vil, and that's like... This wasn't the one where they actually had live puppies, was it? Sure did. Oh, at I least heard at the, about no, this. At the end, they only had them. They only did it at the end because Dalmatians as I, hopefully we all know, are freaking insane. Yes. They're insane dogs. Like, they're yes. bonkers. Like, so they ended up ha trying to have them, and then they just ended up being like, I'll just put them on at the end. Yeah, I like, heard about that. It was a disaster. It was a bit of a disaster, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Jeff. I, mean, I, I know Jeff's been in the chat, so Jeff, tell everyone the story about you doing a... Tell a, Jeff a I love him. Jeff, I love you. <laughs> if you and Emily ever Jeff break up, consider me. <laughs> Wow. Jess, Jess, my, my, my husband is obsessed with you. <laughs> he is I'm so obsessed, obsessed with, with Jess. I'm obsessed with him, too. I love that man very much. <laughs> Yay. Okay, let's get back to the shit. All right, so let's see. I just asked uh, Jess, so that means oh, I am going turn. to Andrew. Okay, Andrew. Before Robert Lopez found the ultimate success writing songs with his wife, who were his collaborators on the musical <laughs> Avenue Q. No way. Wait, wait. Robert Lopez? 
Bobby Lopez. Fuck. I really should write? know this. Just tell me who he wrote Avenue Q with, basically. Look, I really should know. It's not his wife. Pre-wife collab. Fuck. We were just Andrew, saying I, the name of the guy. I over failed over you. I don't know his answer. Oh, so man. I got it. I know. I have his face. I have a guess of a last name. Can we what confer for a half a confer, point? Confer, confer. Maybe I can guess the first name if you give me the Is last. Is it Marks? No, I, now that it comes outside my mouth, I'm like, All right, I love that Marks? show. Karl Marx. <laughs> yeah. If you read love between that. the lines, it's an extremely socialist show. Um, um, okay, okay, okay. Marx and Lopez. Why is that ringing a bell? And also. Do we, when we give our final answer, it's is it Jeopardy or is it not Jeopardy, where you can say the last name of a, of I'll like allow, a, a I'll luminary. allow last. I'll allow last. Andrew, my brain is spitting out marks, but I don't know where it's from. I might be dead ass wrong, but if you got nothing, I'm gonna say marks. I like it. I don't have any guess of my own, <laughs> so we're just gonna run with it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So we were collaborating it, with Marx. <laughs> Jeff Marx. Yeah. And Jeff Whitty. Yeah. Jeff Marx wow. and Jeff Whitty. Whoa. The two Jeffs. We were just saying Jeff, 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 talking about my husband. And yeah, Jeff Marx. So <laughs> you knew the light. light is shining. Light. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> yes. What's that bringing you guys to? You didn't Welcome. even know it. One and a half. It came from. It just. It was right. And we're though. at two. You were right, baby. You were two and right. a half. We're at two and, and a half. Probably, probably like iTunes or Music Match just had their names on the thing when I would listen I'm to sure. that show I'm in sure. two thousand and fucking four. Okay. Oh well, that show came out. Because we're like about the same age, I think. Like that show yeah. came out like my senior year of college, and I yeah. remember listening to "I Wish I Could Go Back to College" all the time. And then I went to UC Santa Cruz, Banana Slugs, and I'm that loser who loves to go back there and visit because Santa Cruz is the most beautiful place in the world. Um, but every time I go back there, it's these kids are so much younger than me. I it's a real, it's I a real, real thing. In more pictures. When I heard that, I literally busted my high school photojournalism class camera out and started taking pictures and I still have Aww, I love that. Okay, Maybe everybody, let's see. Oh, okay. No, no, never. No, Knowing no, no, no. what I know now, maybe. No. No. No way. I'd like to spend more time. <laughs> I like with being you. an adult. I like I like spending time with you in college. Yeah, I wish we could have collabed more. Yeah, we had a lot it was of pretty fun. fun in college. Did I ever tell the story okay. on thing where you had to wake me up while you were audio mixing my film oh, because yeah. I was just so emotionally and mentally drained that I just fell asleep while she was like asking me to approve. I was like, hey, hey. What? <laughs> this is a very Jess story. <laughs> very Jess. <laughs> okay, so we are to Brie. Um, okay, Brie. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> you might need help with this one. Finish <laughs> the you. lyric from Company. God, I, I telephoned my analyst about it, and he said to see him Monday. But can I? I want to try this. For, we're gonna get half points. I um, telephoned my analyst about it, and he said to see him Monday. But I've never seen company. So. Alone, uh, but by Monday. But by Monday. What will you be doing? Um, what, what is a big doing? famous river in New York? You can just do a half point and just the say Thames. it. This oh, is much more fun. I literally was speaking <laughs> the gang, what he the, was saying. The Ganges. I that was, you're okay. I will be. Amazon. I telephoned my analyst about it and he said to see him Monday, but. By Monday. Oh, okay. fuck. I know this one now. God. I telephoned my analyst about it and he said to see him Monday, but I'm going swimming. Be... There are two Shouting. rivers in New York. Dead. They border Manhattan. Why am I helping you? Uh, oh. <laughs> what? What? Have, they call it the dead man's blank. <laughs> I reserve the right to guess this one right for no point. It's. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, oh, we're taking a half point. You go. Uh, okay. Uh, by Monday, I'll be Just floating in the Hudson. Point. Hudson with the other garbage. There it is. You got it. Floating. You, you said this. I'm not well, so I'm not getting married. <laughs> you should have yep. said this. Yep. I'll be floating in the Hudson with you. I was going to try to do some charades and see if I could, like, get there eventually. It was not going to work. And I thought you were talking about what I was going to be doing one <laughs> day. Oh, my no. God. Okay. I like how upset All right. Brent is that he knew it. I, I lived okay. there. You had Half to cross that river through. to get me home to where I lived. Okay. We're, we're at three, three points. points. Three points. 
Justin like garbage every day. It's true. <laughs> okay, Brent. Yeah. It's your turn. What is the name of the magic book Elphaba uses to cast her spells in the musical Wicked? I know this. I hope it's not the novel Wicked. That would be very meta. Um, <laughs> so this is a show, This the irony, I'm going to name drop and I'm going to stall. Winnie Holzman <laughs> literally did seminars in my grad school program. Um, well, fucking... I, know, I know at least two Elphabas personally, so. Oh, like nice. Three. <laughs> the gal is doing it now was like doing like burlesque out here with like or she was like a glee star glee project star she's awesome i mean i'll be really honest i know the album pretty well i've never yeah. seen the show um i've never There's seen a magic it book she has where she's conjuring and that book has a name andrew would probably know it more than it's probably friends. something stupid like the mimsy uh, flimsy it's, whimsy it's some... who it's some stupid Oswald. Fucking dear old shiz munchkin fluffkin gloobin doobin. You're um, not wrong. You're not wrong. Isn't it like the Wait, so he's right? <laughs> <laughs> I was well, thinking no, the same thing. Like, 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 how how not wrong am I? <laughs> I mean, you haven't said it yet. But. No, it's one of those made up like, <sighs> Andrew, you might be on your own, bud. Oh, I've got absolutely nothing. Okay, well, let's come up with something funny at least. <laughs> Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll we'll name the book spooky. going one one word at a time back and forth until it. till it's done. Yeah, yeah. So I'll start with it's the. Um, are we just doing Oz words like just just whatever's on the the title of the book? The, uh, Schwoosby. Necronomicon. <laughs> Evil Dead Three. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> It's the Grimmery! I knew oh, that I would have never, it. ever <laughs> guessed that. that. I Grimmery. said that out loud yeah. and they didn't even take my giving answer. And they put it, that book, their magic little book is called the Grimmery. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I get this one. Okay. I'm fucking with shit. No. I'm so bad <laughs> at trivia. <It's... laughs> You're killing it. All right. So that was, so we're back to Jess, yes? Yes. Okay, Jess. Good point, Jess. Here we go. The prom was based on a real news story about two girls who couldn't attend prom in which U.S. state? <laughs> Andrew, do you know this one? Uh, uh, I believe I do, because I was I the do. one who brought Andrew this Andrew is the one that brought episode. up the story, so he does know this I answer. I know it. You don't. You, you don't. You don't. Well, there's 50 of them and some territories. They yeah. might be wrong. Because you're going to yeah. say Indiana, which oh. is where it takes place in the musical. Oh, but no. the story... I want to say it took place in Georgia. That's your final answer? Yeah. Fuck it. It's Mississippi. Hey! No, I would have yeah. guessed Indiana. I, I know, but that's where it took place in the musical. I know. We're going to find those. you floating in the Mississippi with the other garbage. It was um, Mississippi. Oh, yes. No. So, sorry right. I didn't get us the point, but River I knew it was in Indiana. Rain. Well, good. Well, good. Yeah. I'm glad. Okay. Like, Andrew. We're back yes. to you, babe. Okay. Rebecca Ferguson plays Jenny Lind, the Swedish Nightingale in The Greatest Showman. But who provides the character's singing voice? Oh, God damn it. Zendaya? No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, you might be right. God, I hate you. <laughs> I haven't even seen the whole thing, and I just fuck. I wish there was a question about Barnum, the good <laughs> P.T. Barnum musical. Though I don't know they who plays Jenny They haven't done Lind. an episode. It's only on the episodes they've done. Yeah. Oh boy! Quite a lot of Roman terracotta. Um, I don't know, dude. This yeah, is a I tough don't... one. I mean, I okay, 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 okay. I believe it was a. First off, she was supposed to sing opera, but I think it was like yes. like not operatic. It no, was the like music pop, is synchronistic. Right? Like 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 None of it is. It's a pop era, opera. Yeah. It's like a. You know, you take like an it's opera a style voice gal, and yeah. then you just right. Put right. it over pop right. Music. It, yeah, it wasn't oh, operatic. So, okay. So, get more screen time because they just. What did Emily just say? Tired. <laughs> She's belty. A belty, yeah, but but like pop. more poppy feel. Yeah. And probably very pitch corrected. Emma Watson. Yes. No, I'm just. Kidding. Um, <laughs> no. Um, Bless um, her heart. Uh, do, uh, do you have any? I don't think we've conferred yet. I don't know. Maybe we have, but Andrew, do we you want to? Do you want to um, ping pong this back and forth? Yeah, I mean, 
they probably hire someone famous to do it. Although, well, no, because no, how actually, because it's a. How could sale. we know the? How could we know the name though? Like, how would we guess the name if it wasn't someone that if was? If you guessing? if you listen to the soundtrack. Okay, so it sounds like it's not Zimba. <laughs> or involved um, with, or, or really invested in reality singing TV. So okay, the Masked Singer, American Idol. It wasn't I, my Probably my American, American Idol knowledge is like Ruben Stuttered, so I'm a little bit behind the times. Uh, I got Emily with that one. Um, didn't didn't voice Jenny Lind. Clay Aiken here. Um, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fucking, oh boy, I've got I've got nothing on. Is let's. It like, could it be I've one seen, of the judges on those shows, or is it a I've winner? I've seen Jenny Nicholson's video on this, but all I remember was. The, the thing was bad um and that like it was a bad choice That's but okay it wasn't Katy perry no it wasn't probably the thing is to your point andrew it probably wasn't a super famous person because if they, they were just featured play yeah they would have just gotten to play the character but maybe they got famous later reality singing shows i don't watch them i watch good things <laughs> um <sighs> I mean, to be fair, people like know this questions. because the best thing about The Greatest Showman to me is the soundtrack. I don't love the movie, but I think the soundtrack is really good. As it just, probably like, wasn't music. Yeah, so. it probably wasn't it was Carrie Underwood. It probably but, wasn't Carly Kelly Clarkson. It probably wasn't uh, Fantasia. Does that ring a bell? Is no, that just a movie? And I'm already on Shroom somehow. I, I don't think that that's a person. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Fantasia's a person. Fantasia's a what? person. She Wait, was. What? She w- she was on American Idol and she w- did the color purple on Broadway. But it's not her. Fantasia Barina, no, not her. And her sister, Song of the South. Um, so a different Disney movie, a different Disney movie. Cancelled. Hashtag cancelled. It's all good. Ain't no laws. Look, don't cancel me. Ain't no laws. It's white. It, it, there's no laws. White claws. Uh, no um, laws. White claws. I think Do we've taken. Up? I think we've taken long enough. We. I don't. I have no idea. Zendaya. Okay, it's, Zendaya. No. Yeah, no, Zendaya. No, her name- yeah, her name is Lauren Aldred. Oh man, Lauren Aldred. Yeah, no, Lauren Aldred. No Sorry, Lauren Aldred. Lauren Aldred. Try. No yeah. way. She won. She was a contestant on The Voice. Ah. Uh, um, yeah, and which I didn't watch either, but I I only know her just because I've I've listened to that album a lot, and any time that song was performed, she would do it. So there it is. Okay. Uh, Three hours we are later. Back. Let's see. Yeah, was that an Andrew question? So we're back to Bree. That was. Oh, boy. All right. So Bree. Did they get and it? I don't even know. Oh, this is a toughie. Okay. Um, Because the other one's a tough one. All right. So, (laughs) Bob Fosse is... I'm just going down. I didn't, you know... Bob Fosse is credited as the musical stager of How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. What was the name of the official choreographer Fosse was covering for? Fuck, does anyone know this? I have a guess. Mm Mm -hmm. It's kind of an infamous old school story. It is, but also, like, it's not like this guy became famous later. I also just learned that. Well, that's why it's trivia, honey. I know. I have a guess. Doesn't matter with no points, but I. Bob Bossy? So, want to do a random name? <laughs> his name is listed on all, that and all the stuff. He was all about the shin movements instead of the shoulders, see? Do I have how to um, succeed on this table? He was out Would of his depth. Cheat? He was very out of his depth. Well, then it's not who I thought. Um, Alan Smithy. <laughs> Bobbert Biffany. Good answer. Bobbert Good Biffany. answer. I like that. Bobbert Biffany. So it's Hugh Lambert. And Hugh Lambert actually has a similar career trajectory as Bob Fosse. They both started out as performers and segued into choreography. The problem was that Hugh Lambert was way out of his depth. So Bob Fosse was stepped in and um, he was he's credited to this day as a musical stager instead of choreographer, even though he mostly did the choreography. I was You're learning say so it, much. I was going to say Jerry <laughs> Robbins, but that's only because... He choreographed every other show for about 20 years and everybody hates him. But, oh, uh, yeah. But he was a no, I mean, I mean, not notorious. He was uh, really good at um, kind of fixing shows, like kind of right. coming in. Yeah, we all know that. Like he would right. come in and be like, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. And right. he was good at it, man. He, he was good at it. So gotten canceled in the modern era. 100%. But, but well, you know, he was, um, I do this in my kind of Broadway in the Blacklist video, but like he, he spoke to. Hewak, he named names, but one of the big reasons was because they were going to be like, "We're going to tell everyone you're gay." So that was. Can you imagine? Big... Can you imagine that being the problem? Anyway. Well, I know, but like that's such a crazy like, thing. It's like, did you know you, a Broadway you choreographer? What's next? Hairstylist? Like, come on, let's get real. <laughs> let's grow up. Can the you imagine? Scare was real, baby. Terrible world to live in. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so okay, we're back to Brent. Okay, hit me. 
There's still one. Who played five. Timon in the original Broadway cast of The Lion King? And can you name his connection to another popular Disney musical? <laughs> the original Broadway cast. Okay, 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 okay. And in his youth, he was in a very popular Disney musical. Like stage musical or movie? Well, well Disney only his... started doing stage musicals in the mid-90s. In his youth, he was in a popular Disney Musical. Movie musical. Movie, movie musical. musical. So I'm thinking Newsies um, because there weren't a lot of movie musicals. She didn't say animated. I feel like anim- Disney movie musical does not say to me Little Mermaid. It says to me Newsies, though Newsies might have been made for TV. But Disney movie musical. Oh, it was a movie huge. musical, yeah. And Lion King would have come out on Broadway in like 97 or 8. Mm-hmm. So he would have been older than that. So it must have been five to ten years before. Emily's telling me it was 1996. Um, I don't know. Um, because Lion King came out in 93, 94. Mm-hmm. And it could Lion have been King. The... No, I'm talking about Lion King Broadway. Original yeah, no, I know. I know. I'm trying to do the math of when Broadway would have been made. So it must have been, I'm thinking 97, 98. Lion King came out in 97, 98 on Broadway. Okay, okay. So in his youth, which must have been five to ten years younger, earlier rather, Mm -hmm. I'm thinking Newsies, but it ain't Christian Bale. Um, Okay, uh, can you imagine? I'm Jamone. I'm (laughs) Jamone. Fuck me in the face. Um, the goat butt. We said this. The goat ass. Um, you know, I'm drawing a blank, but I can maybe try to do some some calculus. Andrew, do you have anything for me? I'm not singing the theme song a... of a very popular TV show he was on. Okay, so the thing is, I think that maybe what we're talking about is the fact that Aladdin was voiced by a guy who was DJ's boyfriend on Full House, but I can't remember his name. And also, why would he be Scott Timon? Weiner, it's not him. <laughs> okay, it's not Scott. All I remembered was Scott. Um, fuck. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I mean... <laughs> I got nothing on this. What is that theme song, Emily? Can you tell me that? Because that's bothering me more than the answer to this question. Ah, uh, you're young. You are, you, you are a youth. I'll yeah. tell you in a sec. Disney movie musical, sitcom, Lion King, Timon. Man, I don't know. How about... I don't think we covered this in the show. No, we didn't. I'm going to guess... Um, I went on a tangent about the Lion King movie. So. I'm going to guess Joey Fatone. <laughs> He's a Joey Fatone type. Uh, uh, hey, Duke, it's Max Casella. Max Casella from Doogie Howser. And he was in Newsies. I was singing the Doogie Howser theme. So he was in... He was racetrack in... Um, That's his name, Max in Casella? Max Casella. Yeah, he's the original Timon on Broadway. I'm definitely not slapping my forehead. I did not know that. Yeah, he was in The Sopranos. He's had, like, a pretty good career. Yeah, and thank you for, now that I'm three claws in, thank you for putting up with my my therapy session, figuring that that wrong answer out. I think so. Three claws in, baby. Thanks, Ben. Dranks? Do you need more dranks? Yeah. Okay. Get more alcohol. Is it me now? Yeah. Well, we can take a breather if you want. Should yes, I? no, maybe so. I can't hear. I can't hear you, Emily. You can't hear me. Now I can. Now oh. can. oh, now we can hear you. <laughs> are you guys what good? Are you what are you guys doing over there? <laughs> um, our, our inner audio goes in and out sometimes, so it's just kind of like, uh, okay. <laughs> I'll take a breather, but I'll be spiritually with you. Oof. Let's talk shit about Brent. Yeah, can I? Can I take a bathroom break real fast? Love that. No. See you in a sec. Okay, bye! You guys talk to the audience. Audience, talk amongst yourselves. Talk about how my questions are just really, really good. Can we talk <laughs> to the chat? See how the chat's doing? Yeah, chat. Chat, how we doing? Come on in with some questions. Ask us anything. Literally anything. Oh, we got a chat box. Um, it's just Jeff and Musical Hell. It's just the people we know. <laughs> um... All right. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Everyone. I love you. Um, let's scroll back up. See what they were saying. Fireworks? Yes. Yes. Um, do they hear us? My God. Um, wow. How how hard do you think the questions are compared to the last one? Because it it, it is a little bit of a different situation. Um, Christy, um, how hard are these questions for you? Because I find them much more difficult than the first time around. 
you know what? I came in with the mentality that I wasn't going to know shit. And you know what? I was right, so I'm not disappointed. When are you guys going to include movie reviewers in your podcast? Never. <laughs> um, thank you, Cinema Guy Reviews. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, one day. It's hard to make guests in and of itself. Here she is, boys! <laughs> oh, Jeff says these questions are too hard. Here Listen to your what? husband. Thanks, Jeff. Well, I'm sorry. I was just going to say there's actually been a lot of people in the chat who've been doing real, really well with the question. So. Hey, at least we're in the lead. Um, I will say that we're winning in the halftime show. <laughs> yeah, woo <-hoo. laughs> They're hard, but it's trivia, baby. We're going, going um, hardcore. Plus, Christy. you're learning things. I'm educating all of you. Christy, as far as monthly game night, we're doing it next uh, Friday because it was um, just too busy. I'm pretty sure Princess Weeks is going to join us, which is always like the best time ever when she's around. So oh, yeah, she's if you're oh, not a patron your yet, Patreon thing? yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's three to one. Good time. Right? No, I think it's three uh, to one. Uh let me check who it was. It is three to one and a half in DD. Yeah, the chat's been doing real good. I've noticed some of you got it. I mean, you know Jess specifically My told me like go chat. hardcore with these questions, so I went. I went hard. I love well, that. The chat hi, can mom. Google. Yeah, hi mom. No offense, chat. My it's true, they can cheat. Well, hey. We're all getting a little educated. And uh, drunk. Um, <laughs> I don't think we're going to get drunk. This isn't a, a Mamma Mia Yes, night. we're not getting drunk at all. I was going to say, I just oh I just God. grabbed the strawberry clawberry. Um, I'm so... pretty sure Brent and I are there, oh, baby. Clawberry. Yeah, but here's the thing. I know for sure that drinking has not impaired my, my trivia knowledge. Usually there's been it only helps it. Nothing has yeah. been on the tip of my tongue if I didn't know. I really dug that Camelot shit out of the fucking graveyard. That was good. That was some good <laughs> that was shit. Amazing. I love that. That's that's the stuff but I Emily, live for. Emily, I baby. think just for uh, time's sake, we should like employ a, uh, a timer for like future questions. Yeah, I can. I, honestly, I can. I can take less time. I I know I often like, only because I don't want this to go like till ten p.m. No, that's fair. That's totally well, we fair. only I'll, have I'll a few in. questions left. So what don't number are we Brent? on? Uh, you oh, we have. Let me count. One, two. Three, four, five, six. I have six left, so I'll do four, and then we'll see. Do we have any patron do... questions? I forgot. Like, how many of... Oh, well, that's all you, baby. I didn't get any sent to me, so oh. I don't know. Oh. oh. <laughs> Juliet, if you're still watching, um, go send some wackadoo ones to her for the final countdown, because I feel like we need some finale Great. questions. And I, and I, like I need, like, promise to... I intense ones I, for the finale. I promise I not to a couple extras, too. too. I'll be a little bit more, like, to the point about my lack of knowledge. Oh, who cares? We're having fun. Everyone's oh, just trying right. to be friends with my mom. That's what this is all about, right? Like, right? like... <laughs> okay, so we've only got a few left, so let's see. Uh, are we back to you, Jess? Yes. Okay. Get to moan. Okay. I don't know why these questions keep going to you, but they're going to keep going to you. All right. Who are the six lady stars Hedwig salutes in the song Midnight Radio from Hedwig and the Angry Inch? <laughs> My girlfriend literally started dancing because she knew I knew this one. Here's to Patty and Tina and Aretha and Rona and Tina. What am I at? Four right now? Don't fuck this up. I am. I am. Jessie. I'm trying. Here's the. I should have. Okay, wait. It. Wait, do that again. Here's to Patty. <laughs> okay. Patty. Uh-huh. And okay. as in Patty Smith. Um, here's to Patty. See, now the nerves are hitting me and it's like going out of my head. Just sing the, just sing the verse to yourself. Here's to Patty and Tina, Aretha and Rona and Nico and me. That's seven. Did I get them all? You skipped one. Oh. You skipped one. Yoko. Yoko. Ah, oh, that was good. You got I gotta him. Yeah. Give you that one. I gotta yeah, you got him. One. You got him. Yeah. It's Patty, Tina, Yoko, Aretha, and Nona from um, uh, Nona Hendrix, and then Nico from the Velvet Underground. I was literally my girlfriend saw me send her a video of me lip syncing it the other day, so she's just like glaring angrily at me off camera. That's <laughs> well, she should. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got there. I got there. Good. Good work. Good work. Got to give you that. Yeah. I, I did a Brent style of like, come on, you can do this. Don't fuck it up. It's like the best music yeah, ever. Don't it fuck only, it up. But it only took you less than a minute. So how Brent style was it? Okay. Yeah. And all the strange rock and rollers. Okay. So that let's see. That brings us to four. 
Hell yeah, bitch. Okay. Uh, yeah. Andrew. Oh boy. Ryan Knowles, who played Medusa, <clears throat> along with six other characters in The Lightning Thief, <laughs> says he originally wanted to base the character off of which iconic... I'm sorry, I actually didn't catch that last... No worries, um... I'll say it again. So, Ryan Knowles, who played Medusa, along with six other characters in The Lightning Thief, says he originally wanted to base the character off of which iconic British actress... Oh jeez! I have thoughts, but I want to let you go in Medusa? case you got a you got a one point. Medusa's in like one scene, right? <laughs> so who um, is he? Who is he emulating? Which iconic British actress is he going for? So there, therein lies the problem. It assumes I know any iconic British actresses. <laughs> <laughs> let me know when you want to phone a friend, though. I'm I'm gonna phoning have to... the friend right now. Let's okay, go. I'm thinking Judy Dench. I'm thinking Maggie Smith. I'm thinking. I can't remember if Tallulah Bankhead is... I think she's actually American. Um, uh, Maggie Smith is Medusa? I mean, I guess. I don't know, dude. Like, that's where I'm at. I'm at Judy Dench, Maggie Smith. In... Definitely not Julie Andrews, as far as I know. Um, English like, actors, like, like, like classic. To be nice. Like, I remember that. Like, she's a sculptor type. I don't, I don't really remember. I mean, Medusa's kind of well. Then again, I don't. I don't know the lightning. I don't know it. It's, it's like that one no scene. They stop off at this house, and there, she, uh, Medusa, like tricks them into thinking that they're nice and they should stay there. And then they so who, realize. Who, who does who? What vibes does he give out as Medusa? Judy Dench, Maggie Smith. Uh, I, I don't know Maggie Smith. Yes, you do. She's the old wrinkly lady in Potter. She's McGonagall. McGonagall. She's in oh. Sister Act. She's like, boogie woogie in the church. She's in Downton Abbey. <laughs> She's an Academy Award. You'd know her. I'm of Miss Jean Brody. She's great at irony. She's got big old eyeballs. Um, Judy Dench was, was, in, was in Cats. And <laughs> yes, sure was. she was De she's Deuteronomy in the That's Cats. That's all she she's known for. <laughs> she, no was other most, she was M in the James Bond movies. She's an Oscar um, for her 12 I feel like minutes. If I have to pick between those love. two, I feel like it's probably the Maggie Smith, but I, I don't I don't know. You want to go with and Maggie even, Smith? Yeah, and I don't even know if it's even either one of those. It could be neither. Andrew? <laughs> yep. It's Maggie Smith. Yes! Woo! Half point. Half point, everybody. Okay. <laughs> That's That was strictly off of me remembering anything about the Lightning Thief, which was impressive. Well done. Well Ooh, done. Go, well Andrew. done. You know what, Andrew, yeah. you should thank the Lightning Thief and say it's better than you thought. I thought we liked the Lightning Thief. The Lightning Thief, thief is, uh, I hated it. Remember, oh, that yeah! That was the one where he bullied me the entire episode? <laughs> I thought it was because you didn't like it and he did, but I no. guess it was opposite. I liked it, he's like, it's well, garbage, teenagers are cringe, I hate this. They are But when cringe. it comes to our team, it's the okay, Lightning Thief... We're all cringe, we're all The cringe. Lightning Thief did not steal our thoughts, so... It's true. <laughs> Okay, so we are to Bree. So Bree! Mm -hmm. Pop it. Let's pop it. Okay. Uh, according to Repo the oh, Genetic totally Opera, yeah, we, the we drug. Can you Hold not on. hear me? It comes and goes. I'm sorry. Uh, We're back. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I We're can. back, baby. All right. Acor okay. According to Repo the Genetic Opera, the drug Zydrate comes in what kind of container? Uh, as soon as like, you started the question. Sorry, it's our Bluetooth headphones. It's like disconnecting occasionally. This is why you use the cords. Okay, can you hear me okay? Well, I actually can't hear anything yeah, anymore. You can't hear, can you hear now? No, Emily? I can't hear anything. Throw this in your ear. I can hear you guys. Other ear. Other ear, other ear. Hold on. Throw this in your ear. Ooh. Hey, Brent and Andrew, how you guys? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> you know, I, when, up, once you said I Repo, I was like, okay. don't know. I know the Giles from fucking... Giles and Sarah uh, Brightman. Go. Yes. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. I'll say it again for you. Uh, according to Repo the Genetic Opera, the drug Zydrate comes in what kind of container? I know this, so don't worry. A hibiscus emoji. Zydrate yes, comes in what kind of container? <laughs> 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 I know it, so just pass it to me. I'm wait, 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 hold on. Let's try this. Okay. We're gonna try this. Oh, Alright. No. Oh, so no. it's not big, it's small. Other word for small. Tiny. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you conferring? 
They're going to get a half. They're going to have a half. It's going to be a half, point, but I want to see if I can get okay, there. Okay, it's not tiny or petite. <laughs> it starts with an L. Petite. Little? Yes. <laughs> and if this were not made of plastic, what would it be made out of? This is made out of well, let's aluminum. Say this. Let's say this. If this wasn't like epoxy, what would it look glass. like? Glass. Yes. Little glass jar. No, no, little small. glass. Um, what do you get test tubes in? Vial. Yes. Put those three words together. Little glass vial. There we go. Wow. The drink comes Crazy. in a little glass vial. A little glass vial. A little, a little glass, glass vial. vial. Yeah. 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 That's stupid musical. Half point. <laughs> yes. Half point. I love that musical because yeah, it just screams like fringe festival to I love that musical so much. Yeah, it's it's not not it's not like Should good, but I still like it. To be better. In my head Andy canon, it's premise. actually the third Rocky horror movie. See, after... to me like <laughs> it would I feel like it would have hit so much harder to be in like some weird black box or cabaret space with them actually doing it around you. Like I feel like it would have hit harder that way yeah. cuz that's how the show started, you know. Right. The movie has some problems that don't translate well. But anyway, it's a good cult classic. All right, so we are to Brent. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, Brent, here we go. I would love to finish a lyric before I die. <laughs> go on. <laughs> okay, all right. In in the Heights, during the Carnaval del Barrio, what are the four Latin flags that get a shout out? Specifically after the line, Alza la bandera. Okay, it's probably... There are four flags they shout I'm, out. Uh, wait till I give a final answer, but I bet it's Mexico, okay. El Salvador, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. You're three for four there. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I don't think Mexico is in there. Did you get it wrong? Oh, am yeah. I, wait, am I wrong? It's also la bandera, la bandera dominicana. Also la bandera, la bandera puertorriqueña. Also la bandera, la bandera mexicana. Also right. la bandera, la bandera de cubana. Oh, so it's fuckaroo. Okay, well, <laughs> I leave with my pride. I made it. <laughs> I went the well, distance with Apollo Creed. Two more. I have two more musical questions, mm -hmm. so I can do. We could do a death match thing, like see. I could give it out and see which team gets it first. I love or, that. Or, okay, I've got two left. Can we put a pause Why real don't I quick? Do that? I see one. Um, I'll be right back, you guys. Okay. Oh, no, we're good. Uh, nope, we're back. We're back. We're good. Okay, messages. we lost our audio for a bit, that and now we're back. That took way too long. <laughs> okay, so I've got, I've just got two questions left, and we'll, whoever, whichever group can get it first, uh, can get it. So I don't know if you guys want to confer, like without, I don't know how it would work, but no, I wait, guess whoever, we, we whoever just yell knows it, out? it first. Yeah, well, maybe. Okay, we'll say this: whoever knows it on the team first, Frank, say I know it. Or say, huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we can't hear. It's happening. Again? Can you not hear yeah. us? Yeah. Quick, ask the question. Okay, I'm going to ask the question okay. without them knowing it. Ask the question. Ask the question. Okay. She says okay. there's two more questions left, and that she's going to ask them, and it's for either team. You guys can, like, oh, fuck. Well, this is not going to work for us. <laughs> Hold up. Can you guys hear um, Okay. Miranda, they, do me a favor. They cannot hear right now. We'll be right back. We'll, we'll get this figured out. Don't, After don't, don't, these don't messages. Time out. Time out. <laughs> oh, Emily, you get it. Oh. I, I have a friend who's 24 who just had her birthday. She was in a reading of Khan that I did. And I went to her birthday the other night without my girlfriend and just conversed with mid-20-somethings as if I was not no. a late 30-something. Yeah. And if it's... I went after these messages, they'd be like, are you drunk? Like, you know, I mean. Yeah, yeah it's it's a lot. That's why that's why Christy and I are, are, are real good together. You for know. sure, for <laughs> sure. Because on the internet, you know, if you're, if you're over 35, you might as well. Yep, the internet. No country for old men. Yeah, um, TikTok makes me feel like the most aged crone ever. Okay, Emily, can we get real about TikTok? A video I made on YouTube became a meme on TikTok, but they didn't credit me or use the version I uploaded, and literally tens of millions of views on TikTok have Where? my... Wh what my, is it? Which thing? Like from so like I back made, in the so, day stuff? So or? The, in the year 2000, they made Donkey Kong 64 and the game opened with a rap about all the Donkey yeah. Kong characters. I made a version of it that was Where Are They Now? And <laughs> it was a parody of it. And at one point, spoiler alert, Chunky, the very large ape, there's this part where it goes, and then there's Chunky. He's dead. 
And like, that's the whole thing. And somebody clicked and that out this. and it became a meme. In fact, somebody with many millions of subscribers or followers on TikTok, their name is uh, Chunky's Debt. Um, or, and then there's Chunky's Debt, something like that. But that never, saw, never saw a dime. And I found out on my girlfriend's birthday in 2019 that I was apparently vicariously TikTok famous. And I just sat there on my phone scrolling and she was like, are you going to help me set up the party? I was like, oh, shit, shit, shit. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. That's bizarre. Like, that would freak me out. That's what a weird crazy. world. What a weird world. But anyway, if, if any of you in the <laughs> chat have seen, and then there's Chunky. He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. That's like you. Me. That was fucking well, see, now that we're, because we're talking about it out loud, because, you know, Alexa can hear me and everything can hear DK me. Now, next time I go on TikTok, I, I guarantee it's, it's going to happen. Pop up. I guarantee. Well, I keep making, I made, I've made at least two videos on TikTok because it just drives me crazy how many 17 year olds on TikTok say the word casted. And it kind of just drives me off. It's kind of, just yeah. Yeah. I have friends. Like, in even Texas. have 17 year olds, like people who actually are like adults and they go, oh, this Rachel Ziegler was just casted as Snow White. And I go, how? How? I have I friends die. in Texas that use the word text as a past tense. Like I text almost like it's T E X E D. Like I text my friend the other day and it's like it's not like present they tense. see the apostrophe D there. I text there or right. something. Right. Everyone listening on YouTube, it's cast. Past tense of cast is cast. You got it. You I just checked the chat and apparently they know. Oh, Christy's there. Hi, Christy. I didn't know you were there. I keep on. I love Christy. Not, I keep not looking at the chat because I'm not trying to cheat, as you can tell. Um, oh, yeah. I want to look at the chat. Well, yeah, it's okay. Ragamuffins is a great word. Um, so good. Ah, see, they're like, you were that voice, Brent. <laughs> and then there's Chunky. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Yeah, well, Dude, I'm, I'm no credit for the memes. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, see, I'm, I'm just right. looking at this chat. This is so, no, 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 I'm just this is so great. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be 40 in two years, so actually less than two years, probably. Okay, oh, Hi. I'm hearing things. I'm hearing things. Can you hear me? Hi, can you hear us? I hear something. Hello, oh, okay, yes, yeah, it's a little echo. Turn it down a lot, Frank, just enough, so we, but it could be echoey on my end. Well, I'm hearing echoes, but I don't mind as long as <laughs> the YouTube stream is surviving without. Like, if, if you we don't hear echo, echoes, then I, I can so live. We with. can hear the Logitech. Okay. As long as you guys are cool, then we're cool. So, the chat there's is a miserable. lot of echo. There's a lot uh, of echo. Yeah, I hear my voice back at me. Ew. Back at you. <laughs> it's echoing on your end, so I hear myself. Gotta do it over here. Sorry. Have y'all seen Brendan's tweet about the stream? No. <laughs> he screenshotted, no. He screenshotted your middle fingers. <laughs> oh, really? Good. <laughs> Is it? I love that. Good. Fuck Brendan. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Of all people to move to where I live. We went to a cookie shop in the middle of the night. I got stories, but not for now. Aww. Yeah. See, God damn it! I, 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 hearing my voice go aw back at me. <laughs> Jesus. It's. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Pull down all the audios on the left hand side, Frank. And pass the duchy. There it is. Found it. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's You're keep going, me. guys. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Well, so I have two questions left. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn you guys down because I hear my voice echoing back at me. That's yeah, fine. I've, got, I've okay. got one ear in, one ear out. Okay, so there we go. I think I solved it. Okay, so the deal is I'm gonna do this question, and uh, I've got two of them left. And then um, if you're if you know it, just say I know it, or it's me, or something like that, and then give your answer. Okay. All okay. right. So let's see. Okay. All right. So this is from my most recent episode of Musical. Name the actors who first played Alban in the three Broadway productions of La Caja Fold. Ding. I don't know. Ding. I don't know all three. Can ding, I go? Ding, ding. I had to, I had to unmute you to, to hear you. Okay. Yes. Okay. George Hearn, um, Gary Beach. Oh, and, God damn it. And up, 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 up. Fuck. I, I was so confident. I know his then I got face. here. I know his face. Did it in London too. I know. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. Um, he was replaced by Harvey Firestein. 
His his vocals clipped on the end of I Am What I Am. I know exactly who we're talking about, and I can't think of yeah, his exactly. fucking name. I know his voice, don't know his name. Okay, well, I could give you like a half a point for two out of three. Thank you. So, um, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> it's uh, You were correct. It's um, George Hearn, Mr. Sweeney himself, Gary Beach, and Douglas Hodge. Oh, there it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay. I have one more. I have one more. Okay. You never, you never. Okay, so a strange loop is notable for two major firsts regarding its Pulitzer Prize win. What are those two firsts? Dang. What? Oh. Wait, how does this work, Emily? <laughs> well, uh, uh, let me give it to Brent because they, they're behind. Fine. So okay. let's see. That's how you're going to play. First. First Pulitzer yeah, yeah, that's Prize. Right. I'm a public school teacher, bitch. I would like to give you equal opportunity. And there's also okay. there, there's there's a delay. Let's blame it on the internet. I do with everything <laughs> else. Okay, I'm gonna guess <laughs> first delay. Pulitzer for drama for a black man and for an off Broadway show. It's yeah yeah yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's the first the first written by a a black man for a musical. That is. And yeah, it's the first um, to win without having a Broadway run. Yeah. So yes. it's not Broadway run. So there you go. I would have one of those. <laughs> we had Michael on Question Box, my my podcast, and uh, yeah. it was a weird time, but fun. I promoted it on our Strange Loop episode. It was right before he won the Pulitzer. It. it was right before he won the Pulitzer, and now we can say, well, we've had Pulitzer Prize winning dramas. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Michael R. Jackson. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yes. Okay, so. so... <laughs> <laughs> so uh that's the end of my trivia thank you everybody i hope you've had fun playing at home great question uh, thank you better winners give her some love in the chat now now is this the final thing or do we have some patron questions for the lightning round did julia oh, that's up to you any guys. questions hold on just a second she sent me some hold on just give me give me half a mo just figured that because half she a mo. Me fucking myself right here her questions are really hard we could have just taken the win and left yeah, she did. She did share some stuff with me, so just give me a second. My stuff's running a little slow, but we're all just take a breather, having a good time. I don't know why I become I southern all of a sudden, but you know, anything, anything for you, take a dear. dear. Anything, anything can <laughs> happen in the Bronx. Anything. <laughs> um, I there's like a dog uh, or like pet food commercial or something right now where they do I do anything. I've noticed that. There's some. Com- oh my god, my stuff is running so slow. Okay, here. That's not pretty good, all things considered. Oh, Walk yeah. amongst yourselves. That's great. This set looks pretty okay. I, I want to put like some okay. albums on here, kind of like Emily's hey. set, but yeah. I, I don't want to rip it off too much. So. Oh, I know. I love having the records hanging up. It's if so we're, fun. Yeah. If we're talking amongst ourselves. Just, like, them on the shelves. Oh, here we go. Yeah, talk amongst yourselves. If we're talking amongst ready. ourselves, check out my Twitter. I released a new demo of a musical theater song from Yay. my Star Trek show today. The vocals oh, are a I bit saw slammed. I posted but... that, but I haven't seen it yet. I really want to watch it. Yeah, it's the I Want song for old schlubby Kirk in my Star Trek musical. It's a great and I'm... musical. I've seen a couple versions of Thanks. it. It's a wonderful show. Thanks. I recommend it highly. Thanks. It's getting even better, but uh, yeah, it's Last. the I Want song from uh, from Khan the Musical, and it's on my Twitter at Brental Floss. So if you're musical theater fans, and why would you be? Check it out. Um, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so all right, I've got my ducks in a row here. Okay, so I have some episode specific questions. So let's do the same thing. If you can remember, just shout it out, and then um, you know I'll give it to you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, on the Mean Girls episode, Brie reveals that her high school was on MTV following following around which sports team? You can't answer this. Okay. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I want Andrew to see if he can guess it. Because I think I know it. I mean, Brie's high school? MTV was following around a certain sports team. So which style of sports? Can't even remember. Mm. Which sport or which sport team? Yeah, is it a team or is it a sport? Well, it's the it's the sport that the team was playing. Okay, Andrew, it's the high school team then. Yes. Okay. Um, it's just so like pick a sport that a high school would like play. Football. <laughs> you got. I don't know. Basketball. 
Yeah, pick pick one. Oh jeez. I mean, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with basketball. Just I'm just feeling it. Oh you should have gone with football, baby. Football. Oh, football. Oh, oh, <laughs> you know, my 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 sophomore year, MTV came to my college to film fraternity life and then then which is also very weird considering it was UC Santa Cruz, which is like not a big sorority school. Um, but then we had this koi pond and the frat guys killed one of the koi. Oh no. And then they got kicked off of campus because everyone was mad at them. And there's still a plaque to this day honor honoring this fucking dead koi that the frat killed because Santa yeah. Cruz is that kind of fucking school. Oh my god. Well you don't play fucking koi with those guys. Um, that poor koi. Banana poor koi. slugs, baby. My yeah. was because my Rest in peace, the big red koi. Sucked. My high school football team was so bad that they hadn't won a game in like 13 years, maybe more than that. And so they basically made an MTV show about them called Wait Till Next Year. Um, and then they never won a game. So. <laughs> it was the most pointless MTV show on the planet. And there's a lot Ew, of pointless MTV shows. <laughs> okay, so I have a, let's see. Um, okay, I have another one, an uh, episode specific one. Um, wait, okay. The prom received a review in the New York Times that features what phrase used in a review of Tootsie that Jess and Andrew always bring up? It's a hoot! <laughs> That's correct. He said it faster. <laughs> he said it faster. <laughs> it's a hoot! <gasps> okay. Um, let's see. We're playing okay. for a little bit more pride at this point, Andrew. That's all yeah. we're playing for. <laughs> <laughs> we are working for the weekend. Okay, so, um, for Emoji Land, the, the, the Emoji Land episode, Jess Andrew and playwright Haley St. James, hey, Haley, come to the conclusion that they wanted to see Lucas Steele play what role? You're trying to see Lucas Steele do something. If I, I get it wrong, can Bowie, Andrew but... still guess? Is that final answer? Anyone got any other answers? Wait, what? Yeah. Any other answers? Is that it? I think David Bowie was it. That feels right. Okay, so it is Jesus and Jesus Christ Superstar. He would have been a fucking oh, great I remember Jesus. That. He would have been a great yeah. Jesus. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay. Here's another good one. Okay, so um, The Lightning Thief was the first episode in a while where Jess and Andrew were sharply divided. But we all know the moment where Andrew threw down the damn gauntlet. What musical flop did he say was more fun than The Lightning Thief? Um... Do you Andrew, Andrew, do you remember? <laughs> Which one did I say was more fun? What were you <laughs> like indignantly I mean, like? This is more them, right? fun. <laughs> well, something that's I that's notoriously bad. Something notoriously bad. I think it was Carrie. I mean, Carrie is definitely better than the Lightning Thief. I mean, there's no doubt about that. So or I'll, Spider Man. I'll uh, yes, it was Spider Man. Spider Man is also better. You said Spider Man. It's did I say Spider Man? Spider -Man turn off the dark. Yeah, Spider Man so is way more fun than the Lightning Thief. The Lightning I disagree Thief is like to you to like no fucking. Lightning Thief is shorter, more concise. It's a better fucking musical. Listen, children, this is not the time for debating. But about there's nothing the good in the Lightning Thief. Yes, there's nothing good. Just keep going. Just keep going. I'm just gonna sit back. <laughs> just go. Just go. Talk about the Lightning Thief. I don't fucking know anything about this musical. I remember, they threw toilet paper, right? And they said it was water. And it was water. And they ruined my boy Dionysus. I mean, I, I can't stand by this. <laughs> the frogs <laughs> didn't. Ruin your boy Dionysus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It feeds my soul. Just, just right. bring it. It's like more. This okay. is fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Rent is miserable. Oh, there's, there, there is more. There is more. No, more. no, okay. I'm just drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and, and that's what makes it better. Which patron agreed with Andrew's opinion on the lightning thief? Which the one of your Patreon one. patrons agreed? <laughs> With your opinion. No, I thought I was the only one who agreed with his opinion. Oh, fuck. There's specific patron. 
Who agrees? It wasn't Joseph Evan Green because he's the one that requested it. Who was that? Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, cans everywhere. Thank you, babe. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say maybe Leighton Ackles. They they might have hated it. N no. Andrew, maybe. do you have an answer? Or was it Mina Maniri? Um, Mina Maniri feels like someone that would I, hate the Lightning Thief. I was gonna say Mina Maniri. Go with your answer. Know if that's true. She. I mean, Mina Maniri. We love you, Mina, Mina, but you're wrong. You're objectively wrong here. Objectively Mina correct. Let you, but, you're wrong. Mina, <laughs> only if it's me. <laughs> Don't let Jess I'm tell sorry, you. I'm sorry. Mina is like an actual genius who like fucking creates proteins. I have nothing I can yeah. say to her. I had I had the correct answer when I said the smartest one agreed with me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the chat. Julia's like, don't like make Emily use her teacher voice. It's so true. It's 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 coming out of retirement. My not retirement. It's coming out of distance learning. My teacher voice. My hey boys, boys, cut it out. Hey 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 hi. I'm talking to you. One two That's three it. eyes yeah. on me. <laughs> one two eyes on you. Okay. Um, let's see. I think there's some more. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Ooh, we got some super duper bonus cheese time. Thank you, Juliet. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. You guys, these are multiple choice. So I'm gonna go back and forth. And I'm gonna start with Brandrew because Brand I gotta catch up. Okay. Okay, Brandrew, here we now, go. Can I, I'm sorry, is it, so, so full point if the team wins. Okay, Yeah. got it, cool, let's go. Okay, super duper bonus cheese time. What is Jess's most popular cheese rating? A, cheddar, B, American, C, blue. Andrew, you listen to more episodes than me. <laughs> so the thing with Jess is he doesn't really pick like a normal type of cheese usually. Um, popular. Now, all... we, we it's popular... either cheddar, American, or now, blue. Wait, most, most often used or most popular with audience? I don't know, because the question just says, what is Jess's most popular cheese rating? So that might be the rating that Jess gives the most. I don't know. Or okay. The, or the, the I feel style like there's of more. Cheese. I try he, not to. He often gives different types of cheeses, but it's always just cheese from different places. But so it's, a, like it's a something kind of cheese. So there it's either many, cheddar, American, there or There are many cheddars, Andrew. Yeah, you know that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of cheddars, and he probably just picks cheddars from different companies. Cheddar. It is cheddar. Yes. It's given a musical a rating of cheddar cheese seven times. Wow. Okay. Andrew once seven times in a row just gave American. Let me just say that. I'm an American. What can I say? Oh. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. Okay. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce this back to Team Breast. What is Andrew's most popular cheese rating? A American. provolone. Can Come I give on. you the choices? Okay. It's A, provolone, B, parmesan, or C, cheddar. Oh. <laughs> He's already wrong. He's already wrong. <laughs> what was my my great-grandma called it parmesan. Parmesan and cheddar. I want to say parmesan because I feel like that's like an answer you have when you don't have an it's answer. Provolone, parmesan, cheddar. I feel like it's also parmesan because I feel like I've at least, well, at least twice since I started, but I don't know. I think... Parmesan is what we'll go with. It's probably it. cheddar, though. It's probably cheddar, because you can mold cheddar into anything. I feel like it's the same premise. Um, we'll go, we want to go Parmesan? You want to let him catch up a little bit? Yeah, let's do it. Give him, give it to him, Parmesan. It is cheddar. Thank you. Yes! Andrew has given a musical we rating of cheddar cheese like cheddar. ten times. Every time I've been on, I've, I've done cheddar, because cheddar is my favorite. Like, every time I didn't even need to, I'll great. look back and I'll be like, why? I'm just giving the same sharp cheddar recommendation. I'm going to start giving Parmesan on purpose just to... Okay, here's the last me. one, and I'm taking it back to Team Brandrew. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's the point? Okay. Can they catch up? Can they legitimately win this from under us? No, no, no but I'm giving it to But them. we can get closer. We can... Exactly. Save exactly. face a bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... What is the most popular cheese rating overall? A, mozzarella, B, cheddar, or C, brie? Not the person, the cheese. Well, I mean, it has to be cheddar. I would say it's I, I, I gotta say, like, I haven't listened to enough episodes to really compile that information, but I can't imagine but, mozzarella is something you're just, like, jumping onto unless all the musicals are about Italian guys or pizza. And, I mean, like, brie, I, I get that you have... Uh, a person named Brie on staff, but 
I think Cheddar is probably it, Andrew. If you're feeling that, I'm with you. I mean, <laughs> unless Bree really swings. By the way, it by the way, didn't we just establish that Andrew yeah. and Jess's most popular cheese rating was Cheddar? I feel like this is a gimme. We can, you can count Bree and the guests <laughs> though, and they could you. outweigh it. But I have to go with Cheddar. Gimme, gimme that thing called cheddar. You win. You're right. It's cheddar. Yeah, they don't win. It no, is no, no, cheddar. We the win that question. one round. They won the question. Yeah, cheddar is the most popular cheese rating, being assigned 31 times. Jesus total. Christ! Wow. You need to get more original. You know. That's, so, that's 20 percent. That's all she wrote, ladies and gents. So that is Team Bress versus Brandrew. Brandrew is eight. Uh, sorry, five points. And Bress is eight points, so wow. Bress is the winner. Yeah, we wow! Are the champions, my friends. Meow, and meow. We'll keep on fighting till the end. This is oh, embarrassing. Drink your white claw. That's Drink your white claw. What fisticuffs? Bress, you knocked it out of the park. You probably. Well, you little. I want to say punk. you guys probably played the game better than we did. In all honesty. Like, you guys made it a fun, entertaining experience for everyone involved. I do appreciate it. Emily, you were a fantastic host. Thank you for That's true. So you I really were. You, you really were. Next year for 200. Thank you. Great, Thank great you. work, Emily. Thank you so much. It was so fun. You guys are so great. And uh, yeah, I just, I just I love I this shit. To thank all the people that kind of made this come together tonight um, and have them step behind us. Um, guys, Frank, Miranda, come back here. There's. My wonderful helpers tonight. Um, it's like the crew coming. It's like at the curtain call when you yeah. gesture to the yes, crew. Yes, when you gesture, oh, exactly. Close -up cam. Frank, who did all the switching, everything, set up the audio. I couldn't have done it without either of these two people that made sure that everything ran smoothly. Of course, Brent, Andrew, thank you for coming on and being like the best competitors anyone can ask for. Yo, breasts! Um, Christy, my goodness. Um, I also want to thank Juliet Antonio, who thought of a bunch of like random younger questions for like the teen audience. I appreciate it. You guys really knocked it out. Couldn't have done it without you. Liz Estin and um, Hex, I really couldn't have. You guys helped me test it out yesterday. I do appreciate you guys. I love you all so much. Thanks for letting us do this for 150 fucking episodes. I can't believe we made it this far. I do appreciate Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Brent, thank you for being our most guested person. I can't wait to have you on the show again. Definitely, I insist. Boy, not <laughs> I insist on retaining that title. No, um, I don't see a possibility where you can possibly get usurped. I really don't. I come on next time Brent is on, though. Oh my god! Oh my god! Get a word in. Like, it I was gonna say. Talk. It'll be four hours, and everyone will be huffy. <laughs> when do I get to talk? <laughs> These kids can put up with it. We're almost Don't 40. Worry. I'll have <laughs> the, uh, I'll say, and I'm Andrew, and that'll be my only line. <laughs> Andrew, really, I'm just there for Andrew. Andrew, <laughs> <host. laughs> um. <laughs> Andrew, anything you want to say as the co-host and co-creator of the show? Um, thank you guys for hating me as much as I hate all of you. You shut your wow. face. <laughs> you shut your dirty face. <laughs> as someone that came on just for the last fi year, the last 50 episodes, yeah. is there anything else you want to say to the patrons who now consider you the best person on the show in sadness? I'm sorry, I'm going to the theater. It goes in one ear and out the other. Love you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for 150, and I think we're good to call it a night. Emily, any, are you want to take us out since you ran this entire evening? Hell yeah. Thank you all for coming to the uh, Musicals with Cheese 150th episode live stream. Uh, I've been your host, Emily Clark. I have a show called Stealing Focus on YouTube. Come look me up. Uh, and uh, Brent has all the things, and Andrew has all the things, and Brent, Jess has all the things. Stuff. Promote your stuff. I forgot promote about yourself. Promote yourself. It's very oh. important. Yes! Do it. Well, um, if you are interested in uh, musical theater in musical theater inspired parody music videos about video games that are mostly funny, you can check that out at youtube.com slash Brental Floss. Um, also, if you want to check out my Star Trek musical, there is a reading, a video of a staged reading of like the old draft. So it's like, you know. It could be better, but that's in the pinned tweet at twitter.com slash U-A-S-T-P-M. If you're super interested in writing this down for some reason, again, that is twitter.com slash 
U-A-S-T-P-M in the pinned tweet. And thank you for letting me plug my... Sounds like the kind of thing that would be really fun to remount in this brave new world. I'm literally... Might be fun to daily. do an LA production. I am no, rewriting here. it on the daily. I am tweaking like a motherfucker. So I'm looking for shit to produce, so I'm just saying. Let uh, me <laughs> come out to California. Okay. Um, yes, and you if you like this musical theater trivia nonsense that was butt ass hard, um, then you would be my friend. Um, I'm a musical theater historian, budding person, so check my stuff out. Emily A. B. Clark on Twitter. Stealing Focus on YouTube. Um, I'd like to think I'm the star, but my fuzzy puppet buddy Gerald really is. So um, come for him. Don't Stay for the musical theater nonsense. And let's not forget about the amazing Dear Friends podcast with my wonderful friends Jess and Christy. And um, it's just musical theater. It's just advice for the musical theater minded. So check it out. Part of the Broadway Podcast Network. And um, you've all been amazing. I hope you're going to all have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. And if you're not in America, I just hope you have a nice weekend. And uh, yeah. I'm going to be celebrating America and drinking duff. So and there you go. all the quaint times we forget. Wait, that's not that song, is it? Yeah, I don't know. No, very much no. Wait, not even, one? not even um, close. I'm, I'm a Yankee Doodle. Yankee doodle. doodle. Oh, Yankee Doodle. <laughs> Why do we okay, do that at you the nerds. same time? All right, bye. What is happening? Bye, hey. guys. I love you. We'll see bye. you next time. And on bye, you everybody. Bye, 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 everybody.